guys we are here i am eric shane i'm calvin aaron rick and we're here to do a commentary track for the lord of the rings the fellowship of the ring extended edition right aaron yeah, i guess so. he is super excited yeah. to be here today the american blu-ray yep all right i'm excited because um, i feel like all the other things that we've done iron man star wars that kind of thing like we generally talk about a lot about it like an everyday conversation but not lord of the rings very much not a whole lot. I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fan. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've yeah. never yeah, seen yeah, any of them. You're fucking huge. You've never seen yeah, the extended edition? I've, no, I've seen them. I've seen I've seen, <laughs> yeah, seen I'm them. just kidding. I've, <laughs> I've only seen the extended edition. Yeah. Uh, because of Eric, actually, he okay. he's forbidden me to. from seeing not yeah. seeing you know the un, you know the regular theatrical, theatrical. edition. Yeah. I watched whatever <clears throat> stars had, and I always just joined in. Yeah. in the Middle. Yeah. It was probably it was. the theatrical version for You've you. Probably you're probably the only one who hasn't seen the extended edition, right? Well, so I've seen the extended edition of Fellowship yep. and Two Towers, Ooh. but when I bought this exact thing uh -huh. at my house, they just put the Two Towers again on the discs. That's for Return terrible. Of the King. <laughs> We will it still has the label for Return of the King. We will write <laughs> Peter Jackson in the country of New Zealand you should to tweet fix this. Them. You should tweet them. New Line <laughs> it was like Cinema. six years ago. Yeah. Do it now. Or something. I'm sure they sell this now. It would be funny if you took a, a video of you putting the Return of the King video in. And it starts the two towers. <laughs> exactly. That's the video. Why do you not take video. it back? And the tweet says, to this day, I still have not seen Return of the King extended. I got it off Amazon. They'd probably oh, send you a we were moving at the time. Okay. You got a lot of scenes in that you, one. You should keep yeah. You should, yeah. All right. Well, uh, this is going to be a, a, a fun one, and it's going to be a long one. So there is. Uh, this is on two different Blu-ray discs. We should have gotten the Blu-ray. Part one Wait. and part two. This is the Blu-ray. The Blu-ray. The Blu-ray yeah. has a part one and part two. No very, way. It could have been both long the same movie. movie. They Metal Gear Solid 4. So uh, we're going to... We're going to start up the Metal part Gear one here. Course. We're going to start Much up part, part oh. one here, and then we'll have a small little tiny intermission while we set up the second one. Yep. And uh, you guys can follow along, or if you know Lord of the Rings very well, you can just listen to the conversation. Uh, we're just going to sync uh, with the play button here, right, Calvin? Yep. Calvin, leave Sauron alone. What are you I'm doing? I'm polishing his ball. He doesn't need polished. Uh, okay. Oh, yes. we're, where are we? All right. So We uh, are right in the beginning. Middle Earth. Um, what? <laughs> <laughs> No, we're we're right after we push play on the U.S. Uh, Blu-ray extended edition, right before the New Line Cinemas. So we're right before logo. New Line Cinema. Every version of the extended cut will have the New Line Cinema logo. Mm -hmm. So make sure you're around there. You don't need to be perfect, but uh, we'll be starting here. And let's get started, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm so excited, guys. Count us down. Three, two, one, play. All right, we set in. We're in. We're not in anything. Okay, this is the same thing in. I've seen from Turtles. This, this is of. New Line. <laughs> yeah. I think the, the Turtles are trying to see this. <laughs> me too. Me too. The movie was originally uh, financed by Miramax, and then they decided, ah, we don't want to do three movies. Can you do it in two? So they rewrote it for two. It's like, ah, I, let's do it in one. And Peter Jackson's like, I can't do this in two. I can't do it in two. I can't do it in one movie. <laughs> so they're like, all right, well, we're not going to do it anymore. But you yeah. can take it around a different places and new line was the one that's like yeah sure but why would you do this in two movies it's obviously three films <laughs> and christopher lee's like thank god for that decision <laughs> yeah good for them it's the decision that he should have been faced is this with Liv tyler no this is um this is um, kate Clay, Kate Blanchett. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I almost said Beckinsale and I had to stop myself. Yes. Oh, I got a woody <laughs> I thought, yeah. thinking you were going to say it. Kate Blanchett is the uh from Thor 3, right? Yeah. Yeah, she's hella. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Yeah, hella cool. She is hella cool. So the first um, time I saw this movie was on pay per view. I did not like it. Really? And then for whatever reason, someone got it for me on DVD for Christmas. I watched it again. I loved it. Yeah. It's the only movie that's ever happened. Huh. Yeah. How does that work it's in probably your mind? Interesting. Probably the negative emotions. Of the Academy of recognizes greatness. It. I figured you just line up with whatever they want, Rick. Yeah, I don't know. So Galadriel there on the right. I mean, She's got one of the rings. From what I remember, this movie for me. It's kind of boring. I was yeah. really bored the first time I watched it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I remember the one part in the mines was, like, my favorite part. Like, this is yeah. so cool. I love this. But then everything else was just boring. Yeah. Okay, so, Rick, I mean, Eric, what the fuck's going on here? Okay, so we're right now, they are trying Wait, to get 3,000 years of history in about five minutes with this prologue, okay? okay? Yeah. The idea is that there's these great rings that can help you dominate others, right? There's these fantastic rings that the elves can make, okay? Sauron is this kind of evil being. So the elves have made all the rings. The elves made all of the rings, and including they, the one ring, the, yeah. the ring that I thought they're all, I thought, okay, now, I thought. The thing is, is that Sauron here, if you listen here, he 
He, trick, he tricks the elves into making the ring, and once that ring is made, he can now control all of the other rings. There's nine okay. rings for men, seven for dwarves, three for elves, right? Yeah. Now he can control them all. Ooh. And that's just how he's going to control the entire world. Okay. Well, why, why does men have nine rings? Men have because nine were, rings because there's more there was, men. <laughs> there was nine okay. lords of men, yeah. which were given okay. rings of power. Okay, so the elves who made it had the smallest yes. uh, demographic population. Yeah, they do. Okay. Yeah, but they also live the longest. That's why there are so, fewer of them. Okay. We culminate in this final battle with Sauron. So, We're going to stop him from dominating the world. Elves and men, yeah. for the first they time all team ever, up. team up. All right, this is the battle, I think, Gorgoroth, which, I mean, you got to remember, this movie was made 20 years ago. Yeah. It, lo it looks amazing. And it looks amazing. Still looks good. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's There's better than most movies today. Yeah. So we got um, Elrond being played by uh, Agent Smith. Yeah. Uh, what's his name again? Uh, uh, Hugo Weaving. Hugo, Hugo Weaving. Weaving. Yeah. <clears throat> They covered the forging the rings in Shadow of Mordor. They did. So, video game. Yeah. Okay. I need to play those. Each okay, like the each smaller ring, like the man's ring, the uh -huh. elves' ring. What do they specifically do? Uh, they can do different things, but like you know, men can use them to dominate the minds of others. Uh, dwarves use them to like amass gold and riches. Uh, the, How does that work? The elves can control nature <clears throat> with Jesus. them. Jesus. Yeah. And then the one ring controls all of them. But Sauron, he's already powerful. But to make the ring, he put a lot of his own spirit into it. All right? Okay. And that's why we... when one of Aragorn's ancestors here, Isildur, cuts it from his... He cuts it from his hand. It derives him of a lot of his power. Yeah. But you got to think, like, a lot of this... You know, Sauron's pretty much... He's like an angel. Like, that's like the power he has in this, in this uh, world, right? Okay. He's just like an evil one. He's, uh... In that way, he's kind of like an angel. Yeah. <clears throat> it's so gr So, yeah, I mean, you know. So wh why did he, just because his hand fell off? It's not his hand fell off. They, they separated the ring of power from Sauron. Yeah. That's how powerful that connection is. That my motherfucker can't go to sleep and take it off. You know. Okay. We wouldn't. It's the, <laughs> it's, it's think about, it's like, think about everything that makes you you being in a ring. Okay. You're never going to take it off. You yeah. know? It separated the power of his and he soul made that from ring. Body, oh no, no, they, the elves made that ring. Yeah, Sauron convinced the elves to make it for him. Okay. You see how huge that ring is? Yeah, but it gets yeah. smaller for. Yeah, it'll fit the person that wears it. It also can come off easily, you know. Yeah. Yeah, the number of of different sized rings and stuff that they actually made yeah. for this is great. <clears throat> You'll see later on a scene where they made. So these other fucks one. are trying to get the ring. Well, it, yeah, it I mean, draws that, evil to it. It, it draws it, evil to it. Oh, yeah. no. The soul of Sauron is inside of it, and he's so evil that it draws other evil things to him. <sighs> yep. And then just like, you know, other, other things here, the, the ring can just fall off. Why did it betray him? Because it, 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 it wasn't worthy? It, it, wasn't it worth wants to get back to Sauron. I mean, okay. it, it is Sauron, you know? So it'll corrupt you with its great power, and then it'll, you know, turn on you. It'll do whatever it can to get back to its master. So, uh... Yeah, so this, uh... This model of Gollum is actually different than the one that we see in Two Towers and mm -hmm. Return of the King because they, they kind of changed around his uh, yeah. his design a bit. Okay. And this... Just uh, like the fucking dude in Harry Potter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little Warwick bit. Davis plays. Yeah. And this could also be, like, partway through his transformation. Yep. Like, he's very old, so, like, he's changed a little bit. Yeah. Gollum, is, Gollum is a hobbit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I remember that. Yeah. So that's one thing. Like it gives, it, it can give you great power, but if you're already kind of sick, like you know, Smeagol was, it, you know, it'll it stops you from aging. When you put it on, you can you become invisible. You know, yeah. yeah. But if you give it to a more powerful creature, like a wizard or an elf or an eagle or something, then it can will far more power. Okay. So it's kind of like kind um, like our D and D campaign. <laughs> sure. Yeah. But yeah, you have to have a, a great deal of power already to be able to. 
even comprehend it. It's kind of like the Infinity Stones. Yeah. A little bit. In Marvel. Yeah, Lord of the Rings is definitely one of the most influential pieces of fiction out there. I, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, Professor Tolkien. Man. It's got all of the uh, the signs of like a good D&D campaign. It's well, it's yeah, one of the major tenets of Appendix N, which yeah. is like... Him and C.S. Lewis smoke weed. Yeah. <laughs> the different <laughs> novels that inspired Dungeon Dragons. Yeah. yeah. And Johnny Hopkins. I mean, it didn't... I mean, Tolkien came up with the idea of orcs, didn't he? I think so. Yeah. Now, you said that Gollum is a hobbit? Yeah. Yeah. So why is it whenever he loses it here, they say that it fell into the most unlikely creature's hands, a mm-hmm. hobbit, and the hobbits would be the fortune of us all? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> well, just kind of the way. Because he, just the kind of the way it is. Because they're small, shitty people. I, I well, yeah, but it, if he was a hobbit, what was the difference of that hobbit to this hobbit? You know I, I always mean? took it as like normally, whenever the ring left someone, it would go to someone more advantageous to the yeah. ring. Yeah. But in this case, yeah. it did Gollum not. wasn't of sound mind at all. And then there would be a bunch of token nerds that would be like, "Make sure you know that Gollum was a river hobbit," yeah. which are a little bit different, but not much. Yeah. It's like a wood elf and a regular elf, you know. No. But okay. uh, <laughs> Bil- Bilbo being played by Ian Holm from Fifth mm-hmm. Element. Yeah. Remember oh, the, the Friar yeah, guy? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's so good. I was really expecting for some reason to see that fucking dude from Sherlock. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Martin Freeman. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this is... Uh, this is after everything, right? Yeah, this, yeah is, this is after this is two and a half thousand years, years later. Oh, two and a half thousand? Yeah. I thought right. it was 500. I well, point. Gollum well, has lived yeah. for, had it for 500 years. So, it's, so he's it's now it's 3,000 years. years. Yeah. yeah. So building the Shire set, they go and they find this nice, nice like hilly area in New Zealand. They go, oh, this will work. So what they did was they started building it and for one year just let it kind of grow. You know, yeah. Yeah. this is a place you can go to. This is the great thing about Lord of the Rings. They they do so many things in camera practically, you know? Yeah. It's like the last great practical movie sure. with a lot of CGI as well. Yeah. But. <laughs> Why don't they just do what George Lucas did and got a bunch of little people for Willow? <laughs> <laughs> I hey, well, I mean, hey, one thing to really watch when this movie is how they handle scale because well, you have I, these little short people yeah. sitting, standing next to wizards and humans and stuff. And well, yeah. well, I saw some behind the scenes with you where they yeah. it's, they put people in a foreground and background. They and do stuff, a right? lot of forced perspective. Yeah, perspective stuff. They do digital stuff. They do yeah, a lot the, of cool. Sometimes they have seven and a half foot tall guys wearing <laughs> the other costumes, yeah. you know, walking on, by. Even on stilts. I love that so son of a bitch right there. Yeah. Like or they have little Austin. people playing the hobbits. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they, yep. they had uh, doubles for everybody yep. to scale up and scale down actors. The guy who plays Gimli's <laughs> double. That guy can't. He can't. Hobbits aren't. They're they're happy little people. They're not very. They're not adventurers. <laughs> they don't. They disapprove of people going and traveling. Yeah. They actually don't like to be in on the river, <laughs> as opposed to the other hobbits that do. Why? They just they they think it's too dangerous. Yeah, and it's improper to do this kind of things. All right. No whitewater rafting for these guys. Yeah. No, anything that is of any danger or it causes excitement in any way, they kind of look down upon. My dad's like that. Elijah Wood was 19 when he started this movie. Yeah. His feet look like he chains. He didn't change too much. Yeah, the feet, yeah. Fresh off the good sun. Yeah, all, yeah. all of the hobbits' <laughs> yeah, right? feet are actually... I love the good sun, dude. <laughs> all the hobbits' feet are actually like latex They're slippers prosthetics, that they yeah. put on to make them look bigger and make oh. the actors look smaller. Is that what Shane has? And no. no. That's oh. why I wear that, size 13. That's why I wear purpose, size 13 Aaron. shoe, like Eric. And you should have been a hobbit. You stop Can you have an Asian what? hobbit? You stop talking over people. Oh. Right there? There's a little person. Yep. <laughs> I think Ian McKellen was born to play this role. He was. He's so good. Same way that Christopher Lee was born to play Saruman. Dooku. Or Dooku, Saruman. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Christopher Lee, you know, he met Professor Tolkien. Yeah. You know, he's one of those guys that read Lord of the Rings once a year and has done so for decades. Yeah. You know, up until his death. But, you know, Tolkien said, like, hey, if there's ever a movie about this, I'd like you to play a character, you know? I don't think it's ever going to be a movie because it's unfilmable. Right. You know? <laughs> unfilmable. But uh, he always wanted to play Gandalf, but they cast him as Saruman. I think he's perfect as Yeah. It. Definitely. And we'll see him much later. And it's great that his, his good friend. Yeah. So this shot right here, Christopher 
or uh, Ian McKellen is actually about three and a half feet in front of mm-hmm. Elijah Wood, and they're then they have their eye lies. They're doing this. Like if I'm looking at Shane, you know. Yeah. So that's how they pull off those kind of shots. I think I remember a little, a little bit of that when you and I watched uh, behind the scenes. Yeah. You know, I know he's a good Gandalf, but I just think he's a perfect Magneto. I don't think he's bad as Magneto, but I think he's more perfect as Gandalf than yeah. he is like Magneto. Yeah. Didn't was it this movie that Sean Connery turned down? Yep. Yep. That he was going to be Gandalf. He was going to be. Yeah, I think so. I think it was going to be Saruman. It was going to be someone like that. Yeah. It was like Ian McKellen or Christopher Lee's role. He was yeah. going to be. And he was, then he, he was, turned it down for League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Well, he no. he was offered this. <laughs> he was offered this. He didn't understand it. Turned it down. Then he was offered the Matrix as the architect oh, and oh. didn't understand it. Turned it down. Then he was offered League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. That's what it didn't was. Didn't understand it. Took it. Took, took it. it. Yeah. <laughs> and he does thought, it well, well. What's a I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what this is. Maybe it'll be good too. <laughs> They're tired, <dying>, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that poor guy, dude. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what happens when someone that's held the ring for so long doesn't can't find it it's like an addiction yeah, yeah. that's what i'm like on my addiction. phone man right here <laughs> right? it is <laughs> where's it going there have been memes and stuff that have been made about this in so films. the idea is that you know bilbo hasn't even he hasn't aged he hasn't changed since you know the hobbit at this point which is yeah. much longer long ago well, yeah he's got his face like all strapped back behind his wig right to make him look younger yeah I think the the thing that Professor Tolkien... I'd always be interested, like, if, you know, if you could watch Professor Tolkien watch this movie hmm. and say, well, what do you think? I think the biggest thing that he would be upset by is Frodo's age. Because Frodo's like a 50-year-old gentleman yeah, <laughs> in sure. the book, like he's, you know? He's, like, middle-aged, yeah. supposedly, in this. Is he so supposed, hobbits, hobbits live much longer than they do. men do. Is he oh. supposed to be, like, 50 here? Yeah. Okay. Well, he's I mean... to be, like, 50 or, or obviously, 60 through... Yeah. Okay. I mean, obviously, Elijah would... In this character is not. He's supposed to be a little younger. Yeah. In the movie, they just wanted to have him younger so that you're more on board with, like, this is a guy stepping into the world for the first time. I need to be a little younger. So it's that, coming of age. Yeah, it's, it's in that way, yeah. And, of course, just... He John would also Williams. add more songs. Yes, yeah. he would. <laughs> Which, you know, they do. They, there's some very subtle things in here where they throw, like, some of the score will have poems from the, mm. uh, you know, the thing. I love these little kids. <laughs> uh, these little kids are the cutest I little fig- kids. I figure people wouldn't like them, right? I mean, well, I mean, the 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 adults don't. The children yeah. really do because okay. he brings fireworks for them. Yeah, see, see here, like, yeah, <laughs> the disapproving wife. <laughs> 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 the best scowl on camera ever. I love it. Yeah, you know, the world at large, they don't really care about the Shire. I mean, you know, the, the people aren't powerful. They're not adventurous. They're not one to take lands. Gandalf's yeah. really the only person that finds value in them, yeah, you know? They're not hoarding great treasure. Yeah. Yeah. And as we'll learn throughout the movie, they are extraordinarily resilient to the effects of the ring. Mm-hmm. Well, they value things, you know, comforts and stuff yeah. like that, but comforts of home, not not in a jealous mm-hmm. way of like I want somebody else's stuff like they is don't it, they don't <clears throat> crave power the same way that the yeah. other races do is that the singular reason like they're not very materialistic in a way yeah okay yeah I mean they're just they're hardy too I mean people yeah. look at them and they think oh, like they're the not. shroots <laughs> in a way <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, they're very hardy people yeah <clears throat> I just you can you can just see the scene being built in the edit because like these guys aren't really in the same shot sometimes you know yeah mm-hmm. like right there it's a double with them but they the scenes just flow together with the edit yeah like, there's a point where you just buy it you know yeah and this is a composite shot yeah so some of the stuff like this is composite shots where you have the two actors sometimes what they do. They actually built two versions of the set, one yeah. that's hobbit size and one that's man size, and then they have these, one of these con- remote-controlled rigs, and they, they can, can just do the same shot and composite yeah. it together, you know? It's a really smart way of doing things. If you look really closely, you can see where, like, they cut and transition to yeah. different ones. When Bilbo was closing the door, you could see one where they cut. Yeah, but, oh. I mean, you know, the, the important thing is is that in this kind of movie... You need to 
sell this as hard as you can in the beginning. And then later when they start using the same tricks and you're like, wait, that doesn't look right. You don't care. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're already with Gandalf in this small little house and you just buy it, you know? Yeah. I wonder if he really hit his head there. It looked like he did. He did. He did. It was an accident. Oh, it really was an accident? No, yeah. I, I, I believe yeah. in the it shot. It was an accident. He does yeah. that, yeah. <laughs> so there's, right there, that was three movies worth, I guess. <laughs> From The <laughs> Hobbit. <laughs> so the thing about The Hobbit is that Bilbo came back from that Avenger, uh, Avenger, extremely rich. Yeah. And, you know... <laughs> he has like these these relatives and stuff that always show up because they you know they don't know where he got his money and stuff. Just that he came back one day. People were like trying to steal his house and sell it and everything. I they weren't He's selfish. like, get the hell out of here! I thought, <laughs> you know? they, I thought they weren't like that. It's not it it's like not a, a matter of not being selfish. Because um, I mean they you know they can have you know look I mean they're, they're creature comforts you yeah. know like that kind of thing. I thought some girl got they're not ambitious in that oh, way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So she just leaves? Yeah. I thought some girl, he got pregnant, and he just said, <laughs> hey, let me in. No, it's a, it's a cousin that's always gunning for that house, because he's this little guy living this amazing, it's a hole, but it's a, it's like the best house. It's like a mansion for hobbits. Yeah, yeah. and he's well past when he should die, so yeah. everyone wants in his will. He should be dead by now, but he's this young guy living in there by himself, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Everybody wants a piece of him. But what he says here is interesting, considering, like, you know, he, he's wanting to leave here. You know, because he, he's feeling he, there's something is wrong. It's not, you know, the ring doesn't give you this amazing things and that's it. Like, it will affect you eventually. Even the hobbits get affected, you know. It's like traveling with the doctor. Yeah. Yeah, in a way, yeah. Yeah. But here, right here. But I, I really like what he says, the line coming up here. I mean, he's fingering the ring, you know. It's, it's important. It yeah. feels like this will stop me. But this line of... Uh, butter scraped over too much bread, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, I just always liked that line. Yeah. Because you, you instantly like, oh, I, I kind of get it. Well, he's relating he it, his holes and shit he's relating it to his life. The way he sees yeah. it, yeah. Butter and bread. <laughs> <Yeah>. the, <clears throat> the ring at this point is like a security blanket for him, you yeah. know? He, he doesn't feel safe when he doesn't have it. Yeah. It's, it's, Another it's, reason that uh, Gandalf comes to the Shire is because they got awesome tobacco. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the best. <laughs> you didn't call it tobacco. It's the halfling's weed. Yeah. <laughs> the best weed. Yep. Look at this. So is he older than uh, Gandalf? No. 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 Okay. Gandalf, actually, uh, in the hierarchy of, of Middle Earth, is he's similar to Sauron. The wizards, they take the shape of old men, but they're pretty much angels themselves. Yeah. Okay. But their mission is to guide others. You know, he doesn't only do a whole lot himself. He'll guide others to try to make the world correct itself, you know? Yep. Whereas Sauron has corrupted that mission and is trying to take over. Yeah. Okay. That's why he always gets the hell out of there <laughs> whenever things are about to go down. Yeah. You can definitely tell what was shot in the beginning of production. It took him like three years to shoot this movie. You know, Sean Austin's a little heavier in these scenes. <laughs> and in some of the other shots that are pickups, he's a little thinner. Yeah. Like right there, is he a little? Yeah, he's a little. He's a little thicker in this one. Yeah. So they 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 spent three years shooting all three, right? Yeah. Together. Did they shoot them all together? Or did they just they shot three years. Speak a little quieter. You're yelling. Yeah. Oh. So they shot they shot three years in post or uh, uh, regular production, and then as the movies were coming out, they came out Christmas year by year, right? Yeah. Then they had to do pickups. So, like, they did three years and then started doing pickups for the first movie. And then a year later, pickups for the second movie. And then a year later, pickups for the third movie. So, I mean, this takes up a lot of years of people's lives, you know? That's why the cast are so close, right? Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure this little girl in the front here is Peter Jackson and, this, and the other screenwriter's child. Hmm. He's so gleeful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it, it's the giggle of. An old man who's still a child on the inside. And I mean, he he has fun, you know. Yeah. Like, yeah, <laughs> he cares about people. But other <gasps> drive shaft. Yeah, <laughs> drive shaft. Drive shaft. Yeah. you know, drive. We are yeah. right, everybody. It's not like they're not all going to go off anyway. Why are they stealing it for? I don't know. They're precocious. <laughs> <laughs> I love here his his ears wiggle because his 
his cousin that wants the house is near. Points at his ear. That's kind of funny. Full bagginses. He's <laughs> <laughs> trolling his party. What's she trying to do? Like just start murder him? Yeah, like I mean, the guy from Unbreakable? They just demand, you know, they they demand things of him. Like every time she would visit, like he would like search her, and she's stealing like s- like silver forks and stuff. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Frodo's family, I think, died in a boat, didn't they? I believe something the like that. His yeah. his mother and father died. Yeah. So. The gaffer. The gaffer That's is uh, Sam's father. Okay. Yeah. He's like. He's like Bilbo's gardener, pretty much. The gaffer. I thought there was like prohibition or something here, and he's like, "You've been shaking that stuff." No, he's just known for having a especially strong no brew. Such thing as, as I love the here. I love the whale that Pippin gives here. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck did you think was gonna happen? I know, right? Well, this is an especially big firework. It actually takes the shape of Smog the dragon. Yep. Yeah, this is the finale. Right. It should have been. This would be a great firework, man. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like in an action movie. <laughs> this is wizard magic. Yes. Okay, yeah. so you can't just... Okay. You can't just make a firework do that. Well, I thought maybe in this world, maybe. N- no, I mean, it's shown that Gandalf, like, he can't, like, he can't shoot a fireball. He has to have something to burn to do it, you yeah. know? He has to some have some kind yeah. of alchemical well, ingredient to, like... It's actually, it's really funny. Like the theatrical fire uh, yeah. nation. Kind of, yeah. yeah. They had that fire. But it's actually funny because they talk about, you know, later in this movie, you know, Gandalf and Saruman will have a fight. Mm-hmm. And it's a very, like, forceful and not very magical fight. It's more telekinetic, you know? Yeah. And Peter Jackson talks about, like, I didn't want my wizards, I didn't want Saruman to, you know, push out his hand and lightning comes from him. I, I wanted to be a little more cerebral. And then in the same year, that happened. Episode two came out, and it's Christopher Lee shooting lightning from his hands. <laughs> <laughs> and Peter Jackson's like, "Dang it!" <laughs> so yeah, he's eleven D one. I l- I love this line coming this up is, here. This is one of my favorite lines ever. Yeah. <laughs> the hobbits are all like, what the hell's that mean? <laughs> they ponder and then they figure it out and then they're <laughs> slightly insulted. <laughs> yeah. Now, you know, Gandalf, he he was around when Frodo had, you know, this ring. But he didn't know exactly what it was. There's a number of magic rings in this sure. world, you know? You mean Bilbo? Or- uh, well, Gandalf knows Bilbo has this ring. Okay. And he knows that, you know, he's used it before. Yeah. But it's the first time really that he's noticing something's going on with this ring in Bilbo. Yeah, he, he, he knows has it no, turns him invisible. Yeah. He knows what the One Ring is. He has no idea it's this. Okay. Yeah. So what does he plan on doing after he disappears? Go on a, a, another adventure. You know, yeah. Bilbo's one of the few hobbits that actually has gone out and does things, and it's, it's you know, it's it's exciting for him. You know, the other hobbits will understand, but you know, where he has all this wealth and all this power in Hobbiton, he would rather leave and leave it all behind. You know, but. He also knows there's something wrong with him, too, and he wants to get away. I just wouldn't want my cousin taking my house. I'd stay there out of spite. <laughs> <I know. laughs> I'd die there. You know what I mean? Well, he was yeah. planning on leaving it to Frodo. Yeah. He wanted to make sure that Frodo, you know. But I mean, it's fun, too, because of how much he's changed from The Hobbit to yeah. now. Like, he, he didn't want to leave. So Gandalf knows he's leaving, and he's talked with Bobo previously, like, you got to leave, but you got to leave this ring behind. Yeah. So he's going to leave it for Frodo. I mean, this shot is great, because I, I'm pretty sure it's just Ian McCown on a box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he's involuntarily already lying about keeping yeah. it. Okay. Yeah, the ring doesn't want Frodo to find it. And there's part of Bilbo that doesn't want to to give it up. Bilbo to, or him to leave it, you know? Yeah. Like, look at the way he looks at it. (sighs) 
I just don't want to see that demonic face. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be later. <laughs> okay, good. No, this is whenever, you know, it, it makes him, it turns this really nice little happy hobbit yeah. into, into an ag- angry creature, which is what Gollum eventually happens. Yeah. Such great facial action yeah, no. coming in home. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> like, it, when Gandalf wants to do something, he can. <laughs> I'm trying to help. Trying you. to help you. This goes back to that. Kind Ian McKellen. This yeah. is so funny. I know. <laughs> Whimpers like a little yeah. kid. Well, they've had such an old and long relationship. Yeah. And friendship. All your long years yeah. we've been friends. Yeah. Gandalf is much older. I love how he's already packed. He just yep. has a sack sitting He's just around. been ready. Now he says, I'll give up the ring. <laughs> Looking away. Doesn't want to meet his eyes. He's yeah. guilty. Now, Bilbo Baggins does something here that no one in the history of this entire story has ever done, and that's yeah. give up the ring of power. And the ring knows it, too. Yeah. Yep. You can tell that the ring does not want to stay. Watch when it hits the floor. It's so heavy, it doesn't even bounce. Like, like a ring like that, if you put it on the floor from that height, it's going to go all over the place. Yep. They actually Bang. made... I know, I love that sound effect. I love it. It's yeah. about a, a six-inch ring that they made so that it would land and yep. hit the ground like that. Yeah, there's a lot of those. Density. Whenever it's a close-up on the ring, it's mm-hmm. this big, giant ring. And now he immediately just feels better. Yeah. Yeah. And he's the only person to ever do it. To ever do it. Ever, yeah. yeah. I mean... It's if, such a great weight to Yeah, I mean, it. even at the end of the story, it's not it's a not very voluntary. willing thing, exactly. you know? I just love... Of course, it's the first movie, but, like, I just love the end of the movie. Of, yeah. of, uh, the end of the third one. Yeah. Just mm-hmm. I love its many endings. Samwise <laughs> carrying him. It just fucking makes me want to cry. Yeah, yeah Sam's carrying like They're the literally fucking crawling up a mountain. It's the crescendo of this thing. I, I love it. Yeah. fucking spider. <laughs> she loved yeah. She loved yeah. <laughs> Except, you know, have the, the a pony death. this time. Now, you got to think, too. Gandalf is a hugely powerful person. If he touches this thing, you know... It's got him. Like, he, he has no idea. Like, is this actually the one ring? If it is, like... If this thing tempts me, I will destroy the earth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? <laughs> or at the very least, dominate it. You know what maybe what's weird about it is it... You know, if he didn't know it was that, and then he put it on, and he might rationalize, like, this yeah. isn't it. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I mean, the ring would dominate his mind eventually, you know? Yeah. And it would use Gandalf's power to get back to Sauron. It's, you know, a common complaint in these movies is, you got eagles, why didn't they just take an eagle, throw it in the mountain? The eagles are also extremely powerful beings. They can't, they can't bear the the ring. Can they yeah. bear some, someone to... I don't believe so. Because they carried the hobbits later, right? Well, no. They saved Frodo from Mount after Doom, he but had it's the after ring. he's destroyed it. Yeah, so you're saying they, if he had the ring, they couldn't carry him, too? It's the same thing here. Like, Gandalf can't even touch the ring, you know? Like, he, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't be, you know, it, it would be a bad plan because you'd be ha- tempting these great beings with something that will destroy us all if they get it, you know? You have to know it's on you. Like, no one else knew it was on Bilbo until... But you know, it gave us visual cues. It's not. It's not. It's not necessarily true. Uh, certain beings can okay. sense it. Okay. Yeah. Like Gandalf sensed that there was something there before. He just didn't realize that. He's, yeah. He's, he's also wondering. extremely distracted. Gandalf. Yeah. He's a very powerful person, but he, you know, other wizards are very concerned with things. Whereas Gandalf, he enjoys the little things. He gets mm-hmm. distracted. I don't know. The idea of that though seems weird. Whenever he can hold the ring in an envelope Mm -hmm. but the birds can't hold a frodo that's holding the ring yeah well the birds like also they take bilbo in the hobbit after he already has the ring but it it's also not like well they say they stop the army fighting right like they come in and save that way 
Well, the Battle no, of Five Islands. No, 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 no. When they're burning in the trees. Yeah. Oh, yes, you're pines. right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the real answer to this, that thing is, well, that'd just be a boring story. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. But it would have been smarter. But it's, it's rationalized that way, yeah. And, yeah, I mean, you don't know that the Eagles haven't been corrupted already yeah. either. Yeah. I, I love this here. This is a model. Yeah. The Tower of Barador and Mordor. All, th- almost every structure you see here is a f- hand-built model. I love I it. I think this is, like, 15 feet tall or something Oh, like yeah, they're that. torturing that motherfucker, right? Yeah, they find Gollum yeah. and try to find out where the ring is. They torture him and... They send out the nine ring race, which you remember, you remember how many men were given rings? Nine, uh, nine yeah. And they eventually yeah. get corrupted and turn into the ring race. They're okay. enslaved by... by uh, can Sauron... Uh, I mean, Saruman... Can he, can't he just probe Gollum's mind? Uh, Sau- you're talking about Sauron? Yeah, Christopher Lee. <laughs> Christopher Saruman. Lee doesn't have him. Sauron has him. Okay. Yeah, yeah Christopher Lee is a different guy. He's a wizard. You know, Sauron is the ones that captured Gollum. Oh yeah, okay. That's like because Gollum he loses the, the ring later, though, right? Yeah. He what? Yeah. He be, yeah. Sa- Saruman is also a bad guy. Yeah. Yeah. But they're they're different here. Yeah, Saruman so, works for Sauron. Gandalf has this like this thing could be the One Ring, but it doesn't make sense. So he actually goes and has to prove yeah. that it is before he even yeah tests it himself or something and risk it. I just thought like okay, yeah, they would be able to have some kind of magic to. Mm-hmm. See if Gollum's, li- Gollum's lying. Magic in, in this is, is is kind of similar to magic in like Game of Thrones. It's not necessarily defined. Yeah, okay, and it's very you know? rare too. Aragorn. Hmm. That is uh. Yeah, that's Aragorn's fucking grandpa, right? Well, his ancestor. Great ancestor. Yeah. One of his ancestors. This is twenty five hundred uh, years ago. You see ago. it shrink. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To fit himself. Hell, we got mugs that do that. <laughs> mugs that shrink? That glow. Oh. <laughs> the happy little shire. Yep. So he learns two things. One's that in Sildor, he called it precious to him. Yeah. yeah. And that there is a test you can put on it. The ring's like a dark passenger scene. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so they have like, the they have like a like a nation with the Shire. Th- yeah. Yeah, it's like a it's like its own little country. Okay. Yeah. It's in the west. It's more like on the on this side of all the amazing things that happen here. You know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, one of the reasons why they they can live like this and not have armies the and stuff like that is because uh, the nation of men is in between them and, and <laughs> yeah. Mordor, the nation of great evil and stuff. So they kind of they're insulated from all that. Yeah, that's the gaffer. That's Sam's father there beside him. Oh, Rosie. Yeah, none of the hobbits believe Bilbo's adventures either. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Poor Frodo. He's like, yep. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Frodo's happy here in the Shire. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is home. He does have a bit of that took in him. Yeah, that he does. Call of adventure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good old Sam. Drunk He's so little hobbits. Do she? Do she? So uh, in the book, 20 years have passed since the last time Gandalf was in the Shire. Yeah. <laughs> since that birthday party. Yeah. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> A really long time. Is this supposed I don't know if it's exactly 20 years, but it's like 10 at least. Is it like that here? No. 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 This no. this is like a few weeks later, basically. Yeah. This is one of those things when I was talking about The Last Airbender and in terms of like speeding things up and where you choose to cut things out. Like, I think this does it well, whereas Last Airbender, yeah, it didn't. <laughs> I love this shot. Yeah. The paper peeling away. 
Try to do How this with takes? our candy lands. <laughs> right. How many Let's takes do they have? Put to gold do in there or something. <laughs> so yeah, the uh, the fire there would not be hot enough at all to affect the gold of the ring because it's actually mixed with Sauron's blood. See how, for a second, he was like, oh, man, not in my time. Yeah. Yeah. Good. <laughs> I can keep just loafing around, yeah. smoking weed. I love the projection on his face. Me too. It's so cool. So why does it heat up enough? Uh, it's, it, the papers that he saw was like, you know, a secret only fire can tell. Because that, when, when it was on, whenever it was on Sauron's hand, his hand was hot. And that poem would always be there. But after time, it would fade away. But you could, if you heat it up again, it'll kind of come back a little yeah. bit. You know. Oh, at least that fire wasn't hot enough to do that. But no, I mean the well, fire is not hot enough to damage. Oh, I thought you it wasn't hot enough to read. No. Oh, yeah, okay. I did too. No, it's a it's a matter of you know. Well, if you need to destroy this thing, I mean, it's just gold. Gold you can melt, melt gold, gold pretty easily. easy. And we see later like people's yeah. ideas, like they don't understand why. That's another thing too, like evil is happening now, you know. Yeah. It's, it's, it's been dormant for so long. Yeah. And so the ring is much more like powerful because it's mm -hmm. awakened. It's much more active. Yeah. Like you can even sometimes you hear things coming from it now. You yeah. Know? Like little whispers. So in a book stuff. he's for the past twenty years have have been just mindlessly researching the ring. Yeah. Okay. Much. Yeah. Just pouring over everything that he can find. Because the records of the ring and everything. They're so hard to find. Yeah. I mean, Gandalf just rode to Miras Tirith, which is a city we'll see in the third movie that takes us a long time to get to. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So why is the ring awakened? Because Sauron has, he's finally gained just enough power, power to become, yeah. to do something. He's amassing armies in, in the land of Mordor and stuff. A, How? Because this ring is still around. It's a, it's like his Horcrux yeah. from Harry Potter. Uh, that's what I was like, thinking like, of, so actually. A, yeah, so if anything bad would happen to him, I mean, he's still alive. He can still amass power. So he's like yeah. Voldemort trying to... Yeah. Just more... You know, Voldemort's a man with magic. Sauron is a... A being. An angelic being. What I meant is like much, he's trying know? to come back. But yes. yes. And okay. if he gets the ring, he will come back. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. More powerful than ever yeah. before. Like, Voldemort, his horcruxes are just a thing, and as long as that thing there, he won't be affected. But he can't, like, reabsorb it or anything, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, Gollum loses his ring and then starts wondering where he thinks the ring could be. And he got caught. And then he gets caught. And we'll see him, you know, later in the second movie. He's, his back will be covered with lashes and yeah. scars and marks. Lead them here. Yeah. Home. This sucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he feels the temptation. That's crazy. I love yeah. how afraid he is. Yeah. Yeah, he's terrified that that he won't have any excuse not to take it. Oh, I love this, how scared he looks. So even Gandalf has ambitions. Yeah. Yeah. He would like, want to do good things. He is a good... And he would do it with evil power. Yeah. And it would... Ends would justify the means. Yeah. And that's that's the important thing to think about is like the elves' involvement in creating these rings as well because Gandalf and Sauron are actually kind of equals in terms of who they were. Mm -hmm. You know, but because of this ring of power, what Sauron has done, I mean, Gandalf is like nothing to him now, you know? Yeah. Bread. Brand bread. So yeah, now that he has his information, he has to take it to the head of his order, which Sauron, Sauron the White. Yeah. It was so much easier to convince than Bilbo was. Yeah, <laughs> to go on yeah Bilbo, they had to sign a, a document. Contract. Contract. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Look how proud Gandalf is of him right here. I love it. Who wouldn't be? I love that compliment because yeah. it's backhanded. Compliment. It's like, <laughs> yeah. there's not much to you guys, but you do surprise me. Like, lol. I love the music here. <laughs> like, lol. <laughs> Sam's theme. No, yeah, this is actually the ring race theme, but yeah. <laughs> Poor Sam. <laughs> it's crap. <laughs> I haven't been dropping no eaves. Cutting grass under the window. <laughs> no. Of all the great things Gandalf has done, the sending him with him is probably the best. Yep. Yeah. Well, he couldn't leave him in the Shire, otherwise the Ring Race probably would have caught up to him. Yeah. Look at that shot. I, I love it because so I just buy that that's Elijah Wood and Sean Awesome back yeah. there, and it's yeah. totally not. They found little people, and they put masks of their faces on them Yeah, <laughs> for those kind of shots. How the faces look? Like silicone oh. faces up close. Yeah. They look terrible. Yeah, but like in shots like that, you just kind of buy it. Oh, I didn't get a good look, but hey, that's the idea. I mean, it's it's <laughs> like those the posters that we get yeah. in mailbag that don't look great in person, but on camera, they look amazing. Okay. It's kind of like that. I hate walking barefoot. Right? Yeah. Hate it. Hobbits have very tough feet. Yeah. They do. Hate it. They never wear <laughs> shoes, so the soles of their feet are their shoes. Never Look have that to put shot. My mom that wears shoes to she was 10. I love, I love that. It looks amazing. Mm -hmm. I it really does look like another world. It does. It does. Yeah. Well, New Zealand is such a young country. Yeah. You know? It's recently formed. Geographically speaking. Yeah. yeah. I think I was lost in that field. I've thought of that before after I watched this movie. If I take another step, I'll be the farthest away from home I've ever been. Like, what's the farthest I've ever been? You know, it's Hawaii yeah. now for me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fiji for me. Fiji, yeah. <laughs> Germany. Yeah. Isn't it crazy to think about, like, how different our lives are in terms of travel than, oh, like, yeah. just 100 years ago? Yeah. yeah. You know? Like, people... Lived and breathed ago, in the same like ten miles sometimes. Three months you know? <laughs> to get across the country for their entire for their entire lives. Because the cars and like yeah. how slow people travel, but how slow information travel. Yeah. Yeah. So the hobbits are very you know they're on this one side of this continent, this Middle Earth. You know where the ships are like you know in the stories like all of these races and all of life came from across the sea from the west. You know. Uh, the, the the story of Lord of the Rings and the mythology Whoa. that that Tolkien built is a is. it is a mythology. Oh yeah, you know it's a mythology because he was always so sad that all the m mythological stories of Britain came from other areas. You sure. know, yeah. King Arthur was primarily French. Mm -hmm. You know, and all these other things, and he was always sad. Like I don't have a real mythological history for Britain, so he made one. Yeah, I mean yeah. Beowulf. Well, yes, ex the Germanic kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. But, but th so this is kind of like a, an alternate history for, you know, mythology of Britain. Mm -hmm. So it's just funny to think that like, well, that means the elves came from like America. <laughs> 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 the new world was actually the old one. Yep. Yeah. Then us Americans make Superman. Yep. <laughs> exactly. I love sleeping outside. Except in the morning when you wake up, it's all it's dewy. Fucking, yeah, yeah. Humid That's and the shit. worst. <clears throat> but yeah, falling asleep at nighttime outside is great. I love this shot. It's so good. It's so peaceful and calm when that yeah. evil steps into the foreground. And the score. Ah, uh, yep. yeah. Man. John Williams just blew it out of the park. Uh, all of his Howard, Sh Howard Shore. Howard Shore. Howard Shore. Howard Shore. Yeah. 
Nope, it's not a it it's it's not a Williams movie. Man, why did I say that? I knew what I was thinking, yeah. but I love that they cast Christopher Lee for this part because he's supposed to have this voice that no matter what, it like it's so much like The Ring. It like kind of wins you over. Mm-hmm. It's like, like, well, who has the best voice? Christopher Lee. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Sean Connery is their first instinct, yeah. which yeah. voice wise, it's hard to compare. Yeah. Sean Connery is usually the good guy, though. Christopher yeah. Lee is always the bad guy. Yeah, yeah. I love Christopher Lee's outfit because you would think, oh, yeah, he's he wears all white, but it looks like he hasn't changed his clothes in like fifty years. Sure. Yeah. Look really how dirty it actually really like, is. It it's, looks like like uh, old lace. Yeah. That's yellowed and stuff over time. I love his staff too. Yeah. Because it looks like his tower. Mm-hmm. If you pay attention to Gandalf's staff, he keeps his. Uh, his pipe in the top of his staff. You'll see it mm-hmm. every once in a while right, right there. there. <laughs> Such a cool, practical thing. I love it. This is his boss? Yeah. yeah. He's the head of the order. But he's bad, right? He well, is. he's the head of the wizards who we think, well, they're all good. They yep. can't be bad. Oh, How so many wizards twist. are there at this time? There's five. Mm-hmm. There's Saruman the White, Gandalf the Gray, Radagast the Brown, and then there's two blue wizards mm-hmm. who one day just took off east, and we've never seen them yeah. since. Have we seen the third one? Uh, s- Radagast in The Hobbit. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, these Palantirs, I mean, effectively crystal balls, you know. Yeah. They're these things that people would use to communicate over great distances, you know? And Ancient what devices. what Saruman didn't know when he started using it was that Sauron has one. And that's why their minds connect and he starts corrupting them. So is he good here? He was. Not no. not in this scene, no. Okay. In, in this scene. Yeah, no. this no. scene he's already corrupted. Does he know he's corrupted? Yeah. Well, Gandalf just got a view of the eye there. Yeah, when he touched it. Yeah. He's already been speaking to Sauron. This is like the beginning of his turn. I love Christopher Lee's eyes in this right here. One sec. (laughs) (laughs) Not that way. Not that way. (laughs) He's talking about himself here. There are none who can contend with the will of Sauron. Yeah. Yeah. It's this thing where Sauron is like just showing all of these things that he's doing and Saruman who I would think at one point would think we could beat this guy he's always seeing is all these terrible things it's like there's no there's no winning yeah it's an insurmountable evil it's like brainwashed yeah mm-hmm. I mean it basically is I love the wizard fight it's, it's just two old men hitting each other with sticks uh, ah! practically yeah his staff looks like a bad guy's staff. Yeah. It actually, it looks like his tower. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or think. Which looks like a bad guy tower. It, yeah, it well, does. It yeah. was originally made to house the Palantirs. This isn't like his tower. He just lives here now. Because yeah. wizards aren't supposed to hold lands or titles or anything, you know? They're just force pushing each other all over the place. Yeah. yeah. I love this. Me too. It's like opposite magnetic poles. Whoa! <laughs> it makes it a lot more like, like a psychic attack. That's cool. It it his, I like his that brain and stuff. <laughs> Jeez. I like the way of pain. I know who's said that to me quite a few times. Yeah, Eric. <laughs> I know. Yeah. 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 It's the top. It's a big empty tower. It's crazy. Yeah. Is it when the butterfly thing happens? Is there a butterfly thing? A there is a butterfly yeah, thing. Later. It's like a butterfly. It's like a moth. There's things yeah. I remember. Yeah. Because I would just turn this one on stars whenever it was on. Sure. Sometimes and watch parts that I don't remember. I don't remember any of the beginning. Do you have any questions so far of stuff know. that we've seen? It's a weird movie. <laughs> <laughs> like, like Eric was saying, there's a lot of dense mythology. Yeah. Yeah. Very dense. 
which makes the the world so rich ah! and deep. <laughs> <laughs> what are you two doing here, little Peter Rabbit? They're stealing from the farmer. Yeah. In the books, the far- this farmer has like hounds that he sends after kids trying to steal his shit, and, like rip them apart. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's like Peter Rabbit. It's, it's such yeah. a murder. Yeah. Farmer Maggot. That's right. And now Sam's like, "Oh man, I'm gonna be caught with these." <laughs> <laughs> But it kind of shows that Pippin and Mary are a little more adventurous of hobbits. Yeah, you know? cabbage is so good. Ugh. There's a cliff. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh, it sucks. He has yeah. iron pots on his back, you know? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the dung. <laughs> now these two they live a little outside of the Shire too right that's why they're kind of like other hobbits see them as kind of weird and adventurous because they're not well and you know uh, Bilbo's mother was a took yeah mm-hmm. yep. and that's where he got his adventure side yeah. from yeah the legend of, of uh, what's his name took who was big enough to actually ride a horse yeah he could ride an actual horse mm-hmm. and then one of the hobbits uh, invented golf yeah because <laughs> I think it was the same right. guy because yeah. he, he cut off a a goblin's head and it landed in a hole. The, and they were yeah, like, this yeah. is a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> Cut off a goblin's head? <laughs> yeah. He hit it so hard that it flew across the field and landed in a rabbit hole. So he just sent something there? Yeah, the ring race. I mean, we got to remember, like, they are actually ring bearers. And they can kind of, like, you know, the world around them is affected almost. You know, we'll see as, as they come up here. Don't, don't they? Can they not sense it? They well, kind of can. They're drawn to its power, but they can't yeah. see it. It's only when Frodo puts on the ring that they can see him. Yeah. So it's like an area of effect thing. Like they know it's in this area. Yeah. But they don't have like a radar pointing. I was gonna say, like, I, if I started feeling cold, I would stay go back to where I was. Yeah. Well, why didn't they sense Bilbo when he put it on a little bit ago? They do. That's why. I mean, they were on their way. I thought yeah. they went because of Gollum telling them Shire and Baggins, <laughs> that, and that's when they took off. Yeah, I mean it's it's that as well. But like, it's I, a long I mean, ways like away. they can actually they had to stop and get directions. <laughs> <laughs> they can actually see him. Like if you put it on oh, right now, they would see him. But yeah, yeah. The, the entire world is. And this is you know, this is the ring race actually like sniffing and drawing out. And it's how it's does it not find him? It's well, what it's doing right now. It's like it wants it, to just be as, found. Just as pressure, like it's the pressure of the ring wraith is overwhelming you know and only Sam really knows what's going on but the ring race are also they're not men anymore you know yeah. they're like these like there's, there's nothing under those cloaks yeah they're, you know they're, they're just not a, necessarily making decisions on the yeah own. they're just a presence like it's not even like a f- conscious mind yeah it's just it's a like thing. An, it's it's like a, a force or yeah. like a desire but not so really like they can like sense the ring but only when he puts it on do they actually could they see him you know yeah it's only when the power is being used right yeah I love their theme song and their noises yeah that's uh, like Harry one, of the, one of the screen yeah right it's one of the screenwriters uh, Fran Walsh that's her screaming okay they were like what should these guys sound like I don't know like What's the opposite of she something? She hits cor- her toe or something. Like, what's, what's, the, what's the opposite of like a scary thing? It's like, well, I guess the opposite is when people scream at scary things. She's like, oh, I can scream, and she does this blood curl, like, Wah! you know. <laughs> it's like, no, that's actually more scary than the thing that makes yeah. you scream. So, and she has a really cool design. It's a great silhouette, halo light. It is. It's always bothered me, like, what the hell is coming off that light? It looks like there's a car parked back there. I always figured it was the moon. (laughs) Yeah, I know. But, yeah. It's such a blue light. (laughs) Why the fucking elves make these rings? Well, I mean, eventually, originally it was to help, you know, because men were destroying the Uh, world and nature. Elves, like, built around it. Like, that's why there's a lot of... There's a lot of strife between these races and stuff like that, and the rings were meant to unify them. Yeah. But Sauron unifies them in a way that's dominating everybody. There's supposed to be a, a modicum of, like, free will while also yeah. keeping the races united under the power of the rings, but he just completely dominated them.
That's <laughs> so scary. Yeah. My fat ass wouldn't be doing this. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> it's <cree. laughs> I love the shots that you get of like the the riders' horses. Yeah, like you can see nails and stuff yeah. sticking out of their hooves from where they've tried to to shod them. Thank God they don't wield bows. <laughs> and, and this shot coming up here is crazy too, because it's like, oh shit, it wasn't just one. Yeah, there's yeah. a bunch here. Where were they at? They were, they've they've been they were, drawn to the what's going on. They were all scattered. Yeah, yeah they were spread out. I mean, like, they're just searching. All, the Shire is a country. I mean, they're looking everywhere and they're slowly doing this. You know, yeah. converging on him. You have to say, like, uh, is this Bree? This is Bree. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bree sometimes has hobbits visiting, so they have one of these doors. <laughs> <laughs> he's a man. Yeah, he's a man. Yeah. Bree's like the closest. Man settlement to the Shire. It's like a trading post for like the so farmers and yeah, stuff. Yeah, so too, some right? hobbits that live close to it will visit and stuff and trade. But yeah, I remember like with Sam, like this is the further like like a while ago. He's like, this is the furthest I've ever been from home. You know, yeah, yeah. that was like I mean, a day ago. Most of them probably haven't seen men. Yeah, I, I have to say, I'm more impressed by Willow now after just kind of seeing this yeah. movie because. That George builds a pretty nifty world, sure. which I'm sure was inspired a lot from yeah. the books. That so, horse looked huge. You well, yeah, coming up here right there, Peter Jackson. Peter Jackson, <laughs> yep. That's Peter Jackson. Jackson. He didn't care. Jackson, Before he lost yeah. weight. So a lot of these shots, like some of them, did, like that right there, those guys look a little stiff because they're actually little people, like like five foot women in these giant stilted mannequins. Yeah. And then you, when you just get a quick shot like that, you just buy, oh, that's really tall guys next to our actors okay. here. Because the the motions, like the movement yeah. of the the men sized people, they're yeah. they're slower and more lumbering looking, whereas we get used to the movement of the hobbits, which is more quick and yeah. like, spastic. <laughs> see right there? Do you see that weird kind of hand movement mm -hmm. right there? That's a guy in a stilt suit. Yeah, and they have like these robotic hands that do this as they walk. Yeah. Just to make their hands bigger. Yeah. Scale them up. Because, like, in that shot, when you're looking down on these actors that you know are, like, five, six, like, that guy has to be, like, eight feet tall. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Big gray beard. Pointy hat. <laughs> <laughs> It's like one of those NPCs that you talk to yeah, in right. d and is like, oh, yeah, we're finally going to get our answers. Nope. But yeah, I mean, Gandalf said, "Meet me and Bree." It's a ferret. Yep. But we know party. that we know that Gandalf it's not is a busy right now. Yeah. I was delayed. <laughs> get get out of my way. See back there, that kind of weird hand movement that he's had. Yeah. Another one of those stilted costumes. <laughs> A whole half, <laughs> half a pint. Yeah, one cup. When they're at, when they're sitting at this table, think about how big this table that they built is. You know, yeah. Yeah. like if you just walked up to it, sure. it would be gigantic. Oh, I love bread. Huh? I love bread. <laughs> bread. <laughs> <laughs> what a cool intro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love Vigo Mortensen. Yeah. Have you seen Eastern Promises? I have not. Uh, history of Violence. Oh history of Violence gosh. so good. Hidalgo. That is so I've fucking good. I, I love History of Violence. He plays, he plays the devil in one of these movies. What movie is he the devil? He's like one of the best renditions of the devil I've ever seen. Hmm. Yeah. It's so good. I don't think I've seen it. I haven't seen it either, yeah. I can't really I have to look I up I love that guy IMDb. from The End of Days. Yeah, that guy's good too. <laughs> yeah. What do you think I want? Damn it, Pippin. Like, who's asking for Baggins, you know? Yeah. It's like these... Well, Bilbo's kind of yeah. famous. In a, w a little bit. But also, like, you know, Gandalf mentioned before that so the we, enemy we, has spies everywhere. We talk how the ring wants to be found, and it knows the ring race are close. 
<laughs> Shane was there in that circle, and, and then he starts. They just him. now, now they can they can sense it clearly. Yeah. You know. Now is this the same thing that Bilbo experienced? Yeah, back when it, he would it, it he is. put it on. Yeah. So where does but, it take you? But no one was looking for him then. Well, sure. You know. It's cool. What they did was they filmed fire uh, behind black, and then they used fire as a tracking mat. Mm. So, like, everything looks like it has the texture of fire. Yeah. It's kind of a cool effect. I love it. awesome. Yeah. But, yeah, it's a big difference between when Bilbo used to put it on. Yeah. (laughs) There wasn't a giant fucking eye looking at you. (laughs) Yeah. He wasn't awakened. Just kicks him. He does. Well, he <laughs> kicks him up and sets him on the steps. Yeah. Oh, uh, he's so cool. Yeah. Now, interesting thing, they had another actor cast as Aragorn, and they found out, like, you know what? I think we cast him too young. He was kind of like a, like a twenty-two year old. You know? Yeah. Like we need him to have a little more gravitas, so we got to recast. Like, well, who can we get? And they like they decide on Viggo Mortensen. They sent him a letter, or uh, they called him, and Viggo's like, well, I don't know, what Lord of the Rings is. And his 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 son is there while he's on the call. He's like, Did you say Lord of the Rings? I said, Yeah. It's like I love Lord of the Rings. Who do they want you to be? I don't know, Aragorn. <gasps> Aragorn, Dad, please, you have to do this, <laughs> please. And he did, oh! and, and that's the reason yeah. he took it. I've never even heard of Ar- uh, Viggo I I before did. this. Yeah, no, yeah, I hadn't either. Or so, uh, Bloom or he came and they had already yeah. been shooting for a while when he was cast. And in fact, one of the first things that they did was a sword fight with Viggo Mortensen and Bob Anderson, the guy who played Darth Vader. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He had to give him like the world's quickest crash course because Viggo had never picked up a sword before. Yeah. And it, it, the stories behind like the behind the scenes stuff with them is are really funny. Dude, why did those guys knock? Well, and like he became such a fan of Lord of the Rings that he refused to be in the Hobbit because yeah. Aragorn wasn't in those. Yeah. Is such a. I mean, if this, <laughs> I love the editing. Is so yeah, good. it's yeah. so good. It seems like such a wet. You just gotta think like you're a ring wraith. You're a king of men. You're an evil spirit, and these little fuckers tricked you <laughs> yeah. with this bed idea. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, yeah. And they get so pissed. Listen, how pissed they get. Well, they have to kill them in their sleep. <laughs> They're so mad. <laughs> <laughs> He's kicking the bed. <laughs> He's Uh, Frodo couldn't sleep. Yeah. He doesn't sleep much in this trilogy. No. How does he know this? He's a, a royal bloodline. Yeah, he's a royal bloodline. He's actually like, he's like 87 years old right now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because he's, he's a man of Numenor. Like, yeah. they're, they're these royal men that actually live a lot longer than regular men. Yeah, okay. they were... They were a uh, good bloodline. And yeah. he, like, recognized, like, what Frodo was and yeah. the ring and all this stuff. Yeah, I mean, uh, in the book, Aragorn is actually tasked with tracking down Gollum and finding him after Gollum left Mordor. And that's how they found out that Gollum had been tortured and gave up his name. Okay. I don't get why those things knocked at that door. At the gate, just yeah. do that. I gotta open his thing. Kill him. <laughs> <Knock it over. laughs> like, why are they not gonna be in with? Just do that to get start with. <laughs> well, they were like rearing up on the gate, and then the, the second time, <coughs> they actually pushed it over. <clears throat> I really, I like that line. Yeah, uh, a servant of the enemy would look fair and feel fouler because when Sauron tricked the elves, he came to them as this beautiful angelic creature. Mm-hmm. Yep. But they always said they always felt weird around him, you know? So this is the opposite. That's a handsome man. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's pretty fair to me. Viggo Mortensen? Yeah. I don't say fair, but ruggedly handsome. Yeah, I right. love his costume. Have we seen anything special to the extended yet? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. Probably like 30% of the stuff that we've seen yeah. so far is special. <laughs> I, I don't know. No one's told me. What's extra? <laughs> Uh, I've seen the extended Well, the editions. singing in the bar is yeah. extended. Yeah. They were singing in the bar? Back in Hobbiton. Uh, what about second <laughs> breakfast? 
I love I love this shot here because he you know he'll get hit with the apple and Pippin Pippin will look up as if a, a drop of a tree. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Pippin. <laughs> so funny. It's just great acting. Great casting. Yeah, you can tell which one becomes the warrior. Yeah. And uh, I mean, this shot right here in the marshes, I mean, like, they're kind of like going over the travel stuff as quick as they can. But, I mean, when you're reading the book, like, the marshes are it's a whole 15 chapter. pages, yeah. you know? And it sucks. And you get done, and you're like, oh, man. I went on this journey with these guys because I had to sit here and read it all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is actually like yeah. to read the books, just going through all this shit in nasty terrain. It's kind of draining just reading. They're basically travelogues. Mm. Kind of. Cool detail that Viggo Mortensen, whenever he was like, you know, talking about his costume and stuff, he, he had them put a little tiny knife in the scabbard of his sword. He's like, well, if I'm going to cook and I get this deer, I'm not going to use my sword to yeah. open this thing up. I need a knife. And they're like, all right, we'll make you a knife. Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is extended. Edition yeah, this is, this is also is extended. I think Viggo Mortensen got to make up the tune for the Lay of Luthien that he's singing. But yeah, the Lay of Luthien is a story from the Silver Million where uh, a man and an elf maiden fall in love when that happens, you know, and the, the maiden leaves the other elves, she becomes mortal, you know, mm -hmm. and dies. I thought he was talking eventually. about eventually his chick. Well, he is, yeah. and he, but he's he's talking about it and thinking about it through this right this poem that's just like we do with the, movies and stuff. Exactly, like yeah, we he's, do with he's Romeo filtering Juliet it through. And stuff. Yeah. yeah, it's actually it's really sweet. Professor Tolkien and his wife they're buried under the names Luthien and Baron. <sighs> so sweet. Yeah. Oh, how crazy Saruman looks here. Yeah. So they want, he wants him to build him an army? He wants people all over the place to build him armies. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. just what he tells everybody. Yeah. He doesn't have a physical manifestation where he can like, yeah. build yeah. things. So it's like a telemarketing thing where he just tells everyone the same thing. Pretty much. Like, build me an army now. Who controls the orcs like before? Uh, I mean, Sauron controls them. Uh, okay. The orcs were originally elves that were tortured and turned into these things, which yeah. is terrible to think of. Yeah. Yeah. They're so short and stumpy. Yeah. Well, so. do, you, do you see what happened to uh, Gollum yeah. Yeah. after, you know, hundreds of years of torture? So, yeah, he just puts him at the top of his fucking tower. Because I think down. he one day, I mean, Gandalf, you know, one day Gandalf will see that I'm right. Yeah. So I'm going to keep him up here until he figures it out. He's still his friend. Yeah. Yeah. I love the imagery of tearing down nature and trees to for this industry. Tolkien hated industry you know yeah. yeah he loved nature that kind of thing it's very much a an now industrial revolution like the movie kind of making thing. industrial complex made this movie <laughs> i mean eventually you'll hear saruman and isengard's theme and it has a it has an iron hammer as its percussion yeah oh you know to, to like signify that industry and this huh. was this was a great garden surrounding the tower of orthanc yeah. how Elor, the fuck does he get down from there hello would not approve how does he not get... Yeah. Yeah. You get a lot of these themes from Miyazaki's work as well. Amonsu. This is Weathertop. Weathertop used to have a Palantir in it as well. But it, I, I love it because a lot of these locations and stuff, like, you could have cut Weathertop out if you really wanted to. But, like, it's a huge part of the book where you, you're there for a while, you know? Yeah. It's like another thing I think of when I think of the pace and everything they do include. It's masterfully done. Yeah. Because, yeah, there's My so much complexity burst. and background to it. Yeah. And like. <laughs> Sam's so nice. Uh, yeah, see, the, so? their feet are so tough. Like, yeah. yeah. Of course, he realizes the fire, then he puts it out. And yeah, then oh, I gone. love that shot. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I love when he pulls out his sword. The uh, cool thing about this is that uh, the the hobbits came early to New Zealand to train in sword fighting, so that the when men. they well, yeah when they do have to fight. <laughs> but when they were filming this, Sean Austin especially is like like 
I've worked really hard to look good and to make people think I'm good at this. And they're like, you're going too hard, man. You're a hobbit. You couldn't move these guys' swords if you touched them. Yeah. And he's like, oh, man, what the hell did I train for this for? <laughs> <laughs> I love the design of the ring race. Just the way their hoods sit on their heads. Like, I love their gauntlets, too. Like, it's so good. Yeah, there's there's no even hint of a face. That's like a yeah. salute. Just this faceless evil until he puts the ring on. Yeah. Then you see what they really are. Yeah. That's so cool. And there's only five of them here. Look at those little boys. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy, <laughs> isn't so it? so cool looking. <laughs> so are these guys on stilts here? Or are they no, no, them? they're using no. little people in those shots. Yeah. <clears throat> See, Sean Austin, like, yeah, you got you to sit down, man. <laughs> they're just, ah! <laughs> yeah, they don't train hobbits to be warriors. They got thing, too, like... Hobbits are resilient, but when ring race are around people, they fill them with terror that yeah. they can't control. It's, it's like, like dragon mentor. Fear. Hobbits are a little bit better at it, though. Like, mm -hmm. they, they can, con you know, are okay. And then, of course, you have noble or royal blood like Aragorn. Kind of like those things in Harry Potter. Yeah. Whatever the, the, the mentors. The mentors, yeah. He yeah. skipped first. Yeah. <laughs> Again. Yeah. See, he's compelled to put it on. Yeah. And then this is what they really look like. You can see they're all wearing crowns. I think they they're they used to be men, but they're contorted and desiccated, destroyed, twisted from the power. See, it's almost like it's pulling his finger straight. Yeah, and he's he's resisting it like a human couldn't do that. It poisons him, right? Yeah, yeah. This is the first scene that Viggo Mortensen filmed. And didn't know how to use a sword. <laughs> <laughs> like, he got off the plane, they put him in costume, and filmed this scene. I think he did a pretty good job. He could not take all those fucking dudes, right? Well, they're afraid of the fire, too. Oh, okay. A lot of their presence at well is it's about fear and terror. And Aragorn feels none of that. Okay. Because he's also, you know, he's also a king of men. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> ah! I, love oh, I remember this. I yeah. forgot about this part. Oh, uh, so great. So, are the two are two of those guys dead? No, no, they no. can't die. They're not. They're not living nor dead. No. Yeah. Strider. So they believe his name is Strider? Yeah. Yeah. That's his ranger's name. A lot of, you know, just like a lot of stories, a lot of these guys had different names depending on where they're at, you know? So Gandalf is called different names and in different countries. Did So was Aragorn just, he just happened to be at that pony place? He, well, he, what, he knew what was going on with Gandalf. He actually has traveled with Gandalf a lot. I, I think the idea is that, like, you know, he was waiting for Gandalf too. Oh, okay. Like it's very convenient he happened to be there yeah. when Gandalf couldn't. Yeah. But here the in the background done. Done. You know? It's supposed to be an industrial hammer. Yeah. And look what they've done in just a short amount of time. They've dug pits. Created a new race. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. they did. New race. Yeah, You'll they're they're actually breeding new versions of orcs down here, trying you know, build me an army worthy of Mordor. Saruman thinks that he can build something even better even than better than orcs. The yeah. butterfly scene. It's a moth. Yeah, it's a yeah. moth. Whatever. But yeah. But yeah. I know when people first saw this movie, a lot of people said, like, did Gandalf turn this into an eagle? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people didn't understand. Yeah. But it's clear in the book, he actually, he whispers something to the moth. The, the moth finds Radagast to Brown, and Radagast sends yeah. the eagle. You can hear a little bit here, like, murmuring and stuff. Yeah. Look how cute it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know. It's cute. I've seen some ugly bugs, man. That's not an ugly bug. That is. <laughs> yeah, that is not an ugly bug. It's not as cute as Mothra. No, it's not. Or Mothman prophecies. <sighs> Great shot. Mm-hmm. These ugly motherfuckers. It's makeup. Man. Yep. It's still some of the best there's All ever been. All prosthetic. Yeah. Yeah. So here. Like, you see them working and stuff like that, and you hear screaming and stuff in the background. It's them torturing 
forks and stuff. He's like back is Making killing him, you know? Yeah. He's at like the end of his shift. The guy <laughs> didn't show up yet. <laughs> but now you can see here, they're like... This is like a terrible, like a it's, terrifying it's thing. terrible. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, like a birthing scene. It's like they're growing them in the ground, you know? So I thought they were digging their army up. No, they, they, like, these guys are stuck in the dirt. He's like, they're <laughs> down here. We got to save them. No, it's he's experimenting using magic and all these kind of yeah. things to actually, to make more powerful orcs. They're called the combined Urukai. A, combined an orc and an elf to make them like taller and stronger. Look at that thing. First thing it did when it was born, kill somebody. Yeah. Like Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> Killed one of its own. Yeah. Lurts, I think, is the name. Is that the name of the character? Lurts. Yeah, Lurts. Hey, these trolls. <laughs> the same three trolls that Bilbo and Gandalf trick in the Hobbit movie. Yeah. Yep. I've only seen the first one. Yeah. I think it was in the first one, wasn't it? I'm pretty I don't sure remember. it was yeah. in the first one. I don't remember. I remember the singing. Yeah, the, see, they're arguing. Yep. Because they argued all the way until the sun came up, turned yeah. to stone. Oh. The dawn will yeah. take Yeah, I think I remember that. So but the yeah. process of becoming a wraith. Yeah, this, this poison Morgul blade is kind of turning him. Yeah. It's It's ancient, like... Necromancy. Yeah. These blades were made by. Uh, yeah. By the uh, the Witch King. I love Arwen's sword. It's so good. God damn, Eric! I didn't fucking know it was gonna happen. Oh, oh shit! If only this was a reaction. <laughs> <laughs> this is basically a reaction to me. I don't know what's going on. I spent more time watching than saying anything. Yeah. You know that spot there where Aragorn is like you know go find King's Foil like he's actually a, a healer because he spent a lot of time with the elves and that's where he met Arwen yeah I think he grew up in Rivendell he did yeah. so that's Hela no that's what? Oh. that's <laughs> Steve Tyler's daughter yeah. oh that's Liv Tyler that's, that's Liv, Liv Tyler, Tyler yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey hey mama stay away you fool whenever Steve Tyler saw this movie he's like they dub your voice? Whose voice is that? Like, Dad, that's my voice. <laughs> you do not sound like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like, because Frodo's poison and he's kind of falling in between worlds, when he sees Arwen, she's like bright and shining. But yeah. really, when we see her like this, it's kind of the opposite of the ring race, you know? Mm -hmm. We see like a, a personification, like yeah. an aura around different people. It's like your alignment is almost like a physical thing. Yeah, Professor Tolkien created yeah. many languages. Like Elvish has like four dialects. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is a real language they're speaking. They have a translator like teaching these guys. This is the actual words you got to say, or people yeah. will be able to tell that you're not speaking Elvish. Yeah, because there are people who can speak Elvish. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. <laughs> There's like token professors. Yeah. That, that's the, they get like a master in Elvish. Well, he, he was a, a linguist. Yeah, he was. Like, mm -hmm. That's why it was so easy for him to make a new language. Yeah, he developed the dialect. I love their love story. Yeah, me too. Gosh. And that's the thing. He feels so guilty because if she chose to stay and love him, she would die. If she didn't, mm -hmm. she would live forever. Yep. Yeah. Better love story than Twilight. Yep. I haven't seen it. <laughs> you just told me, Shane, you would hate it. And I saw the, <laughs> I saw the first one. And I was like, God, he's right. You would hate it. <laughs> Behind the scenes of this scene is pretty funny. It is. Yeah. Because they're not going to let Liv Tyler on that stallion. Yeah. So she's on the back of a truck on a barrel doing this. <laughs> and there's a little mannequin in front of her bouncing around. Yeah. <laughs> just they do the a great job of hiding the yeah. actual stunt double's face. Yeah, they do. So are the horses real, though? Yeah, oh, The yeah. horses yeah. are real. Yeah, okay. yeah, they just have stunt doubles in place of the actors. You mean in the story? In the story. No, they're real. Okay. Are all I mean, nine there now? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I was trying to count them there and it turned too quick. Yep. Yeah. They're in like a inverted delta. 
Did she got a lead on them real quick there? Well, it's an she elf whispered form. some shit. She did kind of like almost like a spell. Yeah. The elves are much more attuned to nature. She encouraged. It's them. like sniffing ammonia before you squat. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like the horse. Yeah. She pressed the NOS button. Yeah. 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 She's about to do some real magic here. Yeah. Huh? You'll yeah. see. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, there's water. I love the voice of the room. Yeah, they they don't particularly like the elements. No. He sound he sounded like Gollum. A little tiny bit, yeah. I thought Give they'd have the to shelf. So in the movie it's kind of assumed that Arwen does this spell. But in the in the book, it's actually Elrond, because mm-hmm. Elrond has the ring of water. Who's Elrond? Elrond is her father. Is uh, the elf? He's uh, the Lord of Vigo. Uh, v- uh, Agent Hugo Smith. Weaving. Yeah. It's What's sorry, his name? Hugo. Hugo Weaving. Oh, you yeah. can tell she's surprised. Yeah. So, it's a cool little detail that you don't really notice unless you're paying attention. That Elrond has a ring that can control water, and that's what happens here. Yeah. So you can see that, like the horses' heads and stuff in the water. <laughs> They do have to get new horses, though, right? They do. The horses yeah. are dead. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, that's a hassle, because they, they probably want to get black ones. They want good ones. You know? <laughs> yeah, right? They all got to match. No, this <laughs> won't do. This won't do. <laughs> they got to feed them. Yeah. They just ride them until they die, get a yeah. new one. They will have updated their steed next time we see them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure enough. He looks like when he got bit by that spider. He does a little bit, yeah. He does have... No one's better looking pathetic than... Oh, yeah. Elijah Wood. <laughs> Look, he has a good dead face. I think in some of the interviews and stuff and the special features. Yeah, see, that's that's Elrond. Yeah. Uh, there were some people on set that when Frodo was doing his, his scenes when he was dead, like he's so still and yeah. lifeless looking. They would, like, but, check to make sure he's yeah. still breathing. <laughs> yeah, we check yeah. to make sure he's still breathing. And stuff. I'd be fucking with people. Yeah, right? <laughs> I love this, because it's just like, wait. So how's, happy seeing, how's hearing that voice. Gandalf yeah. here. Yeah. You start laughing at shit here? No. Is it later on? No, that's a thing from yeah. third movie. <laughs> that's a meme. <laughs> yeah, it's all silent laughing, and then I showed Shane a thing where some guys, like, dubbed in, like, <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the one where they do, like, yeah. the black teeth and everything? What did we just watch recently where I'm like, man, this is like Rivendell. Waking up, talking in his bed. Uh, it was Avatar. Was right? it? I think so. I love this. I was delayed. <laughs> <laughs> See, he still wants to be friends. Yeah. Well, he sees that he sees Wait, he, elves. They're up there now fighting. Well, he's yeah, up no. there torturing yeah, it's him. Not so much a fight. He's trying to turn yeah. him. He's trying to convince him that yeah. the logic. Like, of there's his side no is. way you're getting out of here, man. No way. What could possibly save you? Oh, good shot. Yeah. Stunt dive. <laughs> yeah. How does Saruman get up there? He uses <laughs> magic. Well, the same way Gandalf got up there the first time. Does he yeah. go up there like off Tear? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, he goes up the middle. There's like uh, a floor. Ride that to Frodo and take it to the mountain. Look at that shot. It's so <laughs> great. So good. I wonder how many shots he's went around getting cool shit. Like, all right, which one of these can we use with an eagle in it? I think that uh, eagle might be cut from the theatrical. Maybe. Like over the mountains, anyway. Yeah. Seen here, like, he grabs his hand. Like, they always talk about how on the set when they were filming, like, everybody had a copy of Lord of the Rings. Yeah. And Ian McKellen is there, and he's reading this scene, and he goes, hey, Sean Austin, you know, make sure you grab his hand when he come up. That's what it says right here. Yeah. If you don't, people will find that you're not grabbing his hand, and that's important. <laughs> <laughs> it's the small details that yeah. really funny. 
bring the book to life yeah, as an adaptation. Peter Jackson said, like, you know, no matter what you're doing, try to find something in this book that your character did and try to just do that, you know, like with the apple and, you know, all the other little things, about like, like holding the hand and stuff yeah. like that. This is all model. Yeah, yeah I know. It's, it's so incredible. great looking. I mean, obviously, the water is not. <laughs> yeah. But. <clears throat> Samwise looks weird there. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, little, little, little hobbits little. hugging each other. It's so funny. <laughs> so why did Peter Jackson decide to do this? He just love Lord of the Rings or... Oh, yeah. He's always loved Lord of the Rings. Why was? would he do this? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just wondering why he did it. Yeah, I mean, he just it's a passion he project. He knows the Tolkien family or something like that or what? No, he you know? just... <laughs> like, he, he got the option to do it and did it. Look, I mean, he, only a little bit and Bilbo is already... Where the, where the I mean, hell did he come from? It's been like months. <laughs> Eric, shut the yeah. fucking mouth. He planned to go back to the Lonely Mountain, and this is the farthest he got because he got so old so quick. Oh. Yeah. His, yeah, his they had to go this way. I regret that shit time. real quick. Should have cut the fucking ring and stayed there. Give me that fucking ring, dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, he said he felt like butter over too much bread already. Yeah. yeah. Like, this is a relief yeah. in some ways. Yeah, his life was stretching thin, but the, the evil of the ring was keeping him alive longer than it should have. So this is what his face normally looks like. It was all like pinned back and shit earlier. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> you know, the scene in the book is, it's a long way from the Shire. You're like, yeah. I missed the Shire too, man. But in the movie, it's like, oh, it was 15 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, seemingly. Yeah, Frodo's adventure is a little more world-ending. Yeah, a little, a little bit. darker. Bilbo just trying to get some treasure back from a dragon. Been in a Cumberbatch. You can see the dark circles underneath Frodo's eyes. Yeah. Well, thank God they killed Smog, though. Imagine if he was around for this. He'd be on the side of darkness. Yep. Yeah. Be some shit. Well, that's one of the reasons why Gandalf <laughs> encouraged the dwarves to do that. I mean, thinking about a yeah. giant ancient dragon like that on the side of the enemy. Yeah, Sam is ready to go home. No one tell him this is the first of three movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, Frodo doesn't realize, like, as a point in the trilogy, he realizes, like, yeah. he's not going home. Well, yeah. I mean, at this moment, he couldn't go home. You know, he doesn't like. I my responsibility is to get it here to the elves mm -hmm. and everybody else. Take care of it. Yep. I'm yeah. done. Only Hugo Weaving can look that badass with that outfit. Yeah, and right. that hair. <laughs> and that He's hair. the only one. I imagine they keep putting it on. He just keeps looking like Agent Smith. They're like, "What are we doing wrong?" <laughs> His <laughs> eyebrow. He still look pissed off. He's got attack eyebrows. Yeah. He's talking about his eye. He's got one. Yeah. yeah. Even the elves, like, they're worried about the elves. Like, yeah. They're not worried about Middle Earth necessarily. Yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, they, they want to live here forever. If they are killed, they they die, you know? That's why a lot of them are leaving. Like, that group of elves we saw, they're, mm -hmm. they're just else? leaving Middle Earth. Yep. Yeah. Hoping the evil doesn't follow them. They don't want to die. I can't say Mordor like he does. Mordor. 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 He, like, he trills the R like yeah. once. Mordor. Yeah, I mean, the idea to get the ring to Rivendell and it'll be safe there because you can't, you know, beat it. Sh oh, there's hey, my Sean man. Bean. Oh, there's Sean Bean. <laughs> Orlando Bloom's Bloom. first movie. Yeah. His <laughs> first movie? First old? movie out of film school. Yeah. yeah. How old was he in this? Like uh, 21? Yeah, something like he 19. very young. Do you remember how much of a teenage heartthrob he was? Yep. Yeah. There's a magazine in the Is. Is. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dwarves. <laughs> well, they do kind of uh, have a, a reputation. Yeah. I said it earlier, but we just saw Gimli. Uh, hold on a second. Yeah, they do not trust men either. Because 
oh, yeah, the blood of Numenor is all gone. Like yep. everybody left are just hillbillies. Like you talk about low right here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. The people of lower die. I love I love this part. Yeah. Me and okay. Calvin do this all the yeah. time. I was waiting on this scene because I was like, did yeah. I miss it from yeah. earlier? I swore there's a part where he's yeah. like, oh, no, no. Yeah, because Elrond, he's old. He was there. Yeah. 3,000 years ago. That's got, that'd be a hell of a thing to live forever, but yeah. still go out and fight. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's like, I know what to do. We throw it into this lava. He was probably and be there done. when... And that's what... Makes. Why didn't he bum rush him right here? <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? I love this. You see it now? Destroy it. He should have just grabbed him and threw him in. Yeah. I saw a meme the other day that was those two like at a table. And he's like, you see door, pass me the gravy. No. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, no, he's keeping the gravy. Like if the king of the elves had thrown the king of men in the lava, like there would have right. been wars yeah, and everything been. else. Yeah, I would have gone right back. I would have said he slipped or some shit, man. I said, he fucking slipped, bro. You know what I mean? They might not have fully under, even, even understood what sure. the ring was then, you know? Yeah. And it was like an anchor to life. Well, and they thought they killed Sauron. Yeah. So, yeah, good point. So him and Boromir know each other? Uh, only through reputation. Boromir is from Gondor that, you know, it's like what the kings of men kind of left behind. So Aragorn... Like, no one knows right now, but he's a Sildor's heir. Like, he's officially his king. Yeah. You yeah. know? Oh, I feel like Gandalf and Elrond knew. Yeah. Well, right. yeah. Of course, they know. Because, like, they say that, and then they cut to him, and they go to this other scene. Yeah. And it, I, I'm yeah, assuming, like, it's something that's going to be revealed at some point. But if you're watching, you're like, oh, hey. Yeah. They cut straight to him right after they said <laughs> exactly. that. Exactly. Well, there's, <laughs> there's rumors and stuff. But, I mean, you know, Elrond was there. He actually has the oh. sword that cut yep. the ring, yeah. Like, it has to be such a crazy museum. Yeah. I'll say, this, there should be, like, shit around that. Like, just don't touch. Uh, well, and the things that elves find worth remembering really must be worth yeah. remembering. Yeah. Because they lived for so long. Still sharp after 3,000 years. Yeah. Oh, like a fool. <laughs> <laughs> he looks so young. He does. Well, yeah. He was. What was with that? Well, he he knows that his dynasty isn't the rightful rulers. That who, yeah. who, whoever wielded this sword was. Yeah. Right now, Boromir's father, Denethor, is, is the, the steward. steward of Gondor. Does yeah. he does he know that he's the heir? That's a guy that jumps no, off. Not the, yet. Okay. Jumps off the building. Whatever. Right. Yes. Yeah. He yeah. knows so much ah. about history. I feel like he he would. Well, I mean, they've been keeping this Isildur is there a secret. Okay. Who's they? The, Gondor the elves. People? I mean, the elves, they, he grew up here in Rivendell, you yeah. know? Oh, he did? Yeah. Oh, so here's the reveal. Mm-hmm. So he knows now? Uh, Boromir still doesn't know. Okay. He knew. Yeah. Aragorn. Oh, wow, you're talking about Aragorn. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Aragorn. Aragorn okay. knew. Okay, yeah, but he Bo knew from... Boromir grew up here, too? No. 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 Boromir Come. grew up. Mirasirith. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. With, with in Gondor. Father. They're not in Gondor. Okay. They're not in the country that Aragorn is born to lead. Yeah. I should learn Elvish. <laughs> right? You can. You should learn English first. It's Mountie Tot to me. You know, I said, oh, you know, I love, I, I love <laughs> the behind the scenes. <laughs> in the behind the scenes, Christopher Lee speaks like a paragraph of black speech. Yeah. He knows it that well. He does the entire poem of the ring. Like, phonetically. It's so great. Man, you just want to find a hot chick that would never age, right? That's right, man. <laughs> <laughs> so if she... They actually look similar to their age. Leaves, she becomes mortal? Or is she like... If, if he stays there and marries her, yeah. like, what's the... Actually, the idea is that if she stays here in Middle-earth, eventually she's going to die. Because the grace of the elves and, the, like, you know, 
what this place used to be. It's not like that anymore. Sauron has destroyed it so pretty much. So where does much. she have to go? Well, the elves are all going to the west now. To the west. They're all, they're all going to leave. So they're all aging now. They're not aging right now, no. It's just, it's going to happen. Yeah, because the evil's back, like the magic left. Yeah. yeah. So that they're no longer going to live forever if they stay here. It's corrupt. Ah, fuck I this mean, place. it might, it might take 200 Ooh. years, you know? So she's saying she's going to stay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What is it? It's her, this little it's, necklace. It's her thing. mortal life. It's a symbol of it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Like her, her immortal life's in that necklace. Shane. He's like, ah, I have it now. And he lives forever. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like giving someone a ring. Yeah. You know, it's a symbol of love. It does have powers, though, doesn't it? Not this. No. no. I don't believe so. I thought it brought him back after he falls off the cliff. It doesn't bring him back. He okay. gets it back from Legolas. Right. Yeah. You're right. It's like, you know, when ladies would tie like yeah. a, a token around a knight's arm it was that kind of thing that kept him strong but i especially love this scene in this movie because this is a couple of chapters in the book where these guys sit around and talk about the story yeah and it really i really like the scene mm -hmm. so these people are all brought together because they're important they're yeah, important they're yeah. lords they're like um, hey we have this ring and we gotta do something with it if we destroy this thing we all the win evil is gone yeah, and these days it is very rare to get all these races together. Yeah. yeah. Especially elves and dwarves. <laughs> I thought you talk about like 20 years later, like now 2019, it's real hard to, for us to get <laughs> all these different races together. <laughs> so Boromir's here because his father's the, the king the guy, steward, right? The steward, steward of Gondor. Of Gondor. Yeah. Yeah. What is special about Legolas and Gimli? Legolas is the prince of Mirkwood, which is another group of elves. And then yeah. Gimli yeah. is one of the sons of one of the, the original dwarves that went to Eobar and the Hobbit. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So like they're they're just noble pretty much. Yeah. They're important. Is Aragorn here? Aragorn's here Aragorn as well. Aragorn is here, yeah. Okay. Although they don't all know why he's no. important. Yeah, I was gonna say why does he was he was uh, invited by Elrond. Elrond mm -hmm. pretty much helped raise him. This oh. is great. <laughs> this yeah. is this is not in the theatrical cut. No, it's not. When you speak, you just speak the language of Mordor. This is what happens. Oh, he, it draws okay. so much. Evil. The king was a like, yeah. gosh shit. Well, no, he the, it, it causes it, him like, pain. It hurts him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's such intense evil yeah. just to be spoken. Being a linguist, like Tolkien, thought words like had power. Mm -hmm. Do you see Elrond when he was speaking? He was like, ah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> It was like an intense headache. Yeah, he's like, oh, <laughs> yeah. fuck. It's like there's no using this thing, but yeah. Boromir doesn't see that. Just like a seal door. Yeah. You know what I love about this part? You can hear this French horn playing a small yeah. little tune, and that's a seed that Howard Shore plants, and he fucking... Yeah. Kills this song in the third movie. Yeah. You never hear it again after this. Huh. Until it's like, holy shit, and it's the beacons of Gondor. Yeah. Here's your moment, Shane. <laughs> it's not like, what he wanted to hear. Jesus, yeah. everyone knew except for that guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, there there's lots of rumors and stuff yeah. going around. Nobody really knows what, uh, where the line went. No, oh, Frodo's like, oh shit, I didn't know. That. What the hell does that mean? Yeah, <laughs> where is Gondor? I love when Frodo puts down the ring and sits down. You can look on his face like, oh, I'm done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is Aragorn and Legolas have a history here or anything? A little or? bit. Yeah, Aragorn has traveled and been with a lot yeah. of different people, peoples. All right, when's Gimli do the hammer thing? <laughs> it's very soon. What's him and Aragorn's relationship? Uh, it's it's Basically kind of like, like a, a stepdad. Yeah. He grew up. He know he loves who his also daughter? doesn't want him to marry yeah. his daughter. Yeah. He doesn't want him to because it'll kill his daughter. Yeah. yeah. Here's your moment, Aaron. <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh. Uh, it's such a good. Such a great they need that in that shot because it's like, well, why don't you just fucking do this? And yeah. you can't. Glowing. He's like smiling. Well, they don't like dwarves very much. <laughs> He's like amused. He yeah. wasn't even trying to stop them, you know. 
Well, everyone has to see. It was a good demonstration. You can already, his expense count. Well, it, it like hurt Frodo yeah. when it hurt because he's, it already has that connection. He's already to him. connected. He I wonder if Bilbo felt the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> he's like where he is. Fuck. Let's do this. They're all looking around like, I ain't doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew what that was from. Yeah. <laughs> really? I saw this. I just don't remember him saying in a movie. Oh. I mean, saying like saying to go to Mordor is like, go to Chernobyl. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of how it is, you know? Or the DMZ. Like, go to Mordor. It's, it, it just is impossible. Yeah. yeah. The thing with Gondor and, and Boromir, like they're n- right next to Mordor, mm-hmm. so they're the ones that are stopping all the did, attacks and stuff. You know, did you just compare Chernobyl and the DMV? <laughs> DMZ, demilitarized zone. Oh, <laughs> he's like, like <laughs> going to the DMV. <laughs> I mean, sometimes depending on who's there, it could be pretty toxic. But <laughs> give me, because <laughs> as long as elves don't take it, I'm cool. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> well, have I trust an elf? Now they're all fighting. Gan- Gandalf's like, I oh, love that fuck. shot. Yeah, that shot Them is so all. good. And the idea is that the ring is kind of causing this yep. too. Yeah. You know? Just all that reflected back in the ring. Yeah, and that, that's, that's one of the cool. big rings too. It's just it's saying over and over again, "One ring to rule them all." One ring. He's just flexing on Frodo yeah. right now. I love Gandalf's face. Yeah. Because he's like, no, he man. Want it. But there's really no other way, but no. Yeah. Elrond didn't even get up, argue, or nothing. He just sat there. Yeah. I don't know why I'm emotional. Because no one else would do this, but yeah. fucking no, hobbits, I'm emotional baby. today. Fucking uh, All these <laughs> kings and warriors. <laughs> yeah. 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 This little hobbit. It's like Tom Cruise taking it. Wait, so no one wanted it? No one wanted it. No, well, I mean, everyone... They all wanted it, but they didn't want to destroy it, and they certainly didn't want to carry it. They all wanted to take it home. And Boromir use it. wants to take it. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, really cool detail I just learned in the third movie, when Aragorn is looking, and they they they, they think that Frodo's dead, and he's like, no, and he fights anyway. In Elvish, they're saying, "If by my life or death I can protect you, I will." Mm. In that moment, so fucking nice. cool. You should say that again when it happens. I will have to. Because I don't know which part you were just talking about. (laughs) (laughs) He wasn't invited. (laughs) I love how he was like six feet away, too. (laughs) The whole thing. (laughs) He must have been pissing his pants when Elrond's face. (laughs) (laughs) And then watch it here. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> this is a secret council to de- yeah. decide the fate of the world. <laughs> These fucking hobbits. Nor indeed. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. All right. You guys need a cool name like that, yeah. right? Where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> and that that's it is part it's one. Part one. Oh, what? Yep. Yeah. Oh. Cool little detail, like you know, talking about the like nine companions. One, it's going to match the nine ring race that are chasing them, and two, a little thing that Howard Shore throws in in the music here. He says like nine companions to fellowship of the ring, and then the song is going, you know. Da, na, 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 na. And then it goes nine notes. Da, na, 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 na. And that's the fellowship of the ring. Yeah. So the first three are there and back again. <laughs> Same notes. <laughs> one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, there and back again. Awesome. Just a cool little Easter egg detail that Howard Shore threw in there. I love it. This is going to be part two of mm-hmm. Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Ring commentary. Okay, so make sure you guys have your disc, and we're just going to be starting right from the very beginning because there's no titles to go over. It, yep. it just goes right in. So let's get into it. Calvin, count us in. Three, two, one, play. So we've got like 30 more minutes? 
<laughs> two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. So I, I believe this entire scene here is all brand new. This is all edition. brand new, yes. Yeah. Yep. And I think this is Aragorn's mother. Mm -hmm. Grave. He, Aragorn's mother was buried at the Elven place. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he actually grew up. I. I yeah. His yeah. Mom, she she was lived. His mom an elf. Mm. Aragorn's mom. Yeah. I thought you would know that. I think shit, he. I think you? he has some Elven in him too. Yeah, that's why he looks young, right? Well, well, no, the, he, it's the because the line he, of Numenor was was like yeah. an elven man line, right? That's yeah. why they live longer. What the hell is a Numenor? It's like a race of men that are awesome, like, so like Filipinos, like Elliots. Yes. Okay. <laughs> no. He <laughs> <laughs> turned this fucking movie up. You can turn it up, can't you? Yeah, turn turn up your headphones a little bit. We have subtitles, Shane. Right? Yeah. Okay. Good. Fuck. Yeah. Now, now I'm loud. Yeah, Aragorn, he could also wield the ring. Yeah. And that's the thing. He doesn't want to be king, but there's literally no one else that could do th do it. Yeah. Maybe he can just go to jail and someone else Bormier. can do it. Hey, Eric, I like this little sword. Yeah, this is thing. It's a large knife for a man. It's yeah. a nice little sword for a hobbit. He found that after he turned those trolls to stone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's uh, of the same line as Gandalf's sword, which is why they both will glow blue. But in the movie, Gandalf's sword does not do that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> really? They spent enough of their effects budget as it was. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we can't afford to send more. Yeah. <coughs> I want some mithril. And he sees the ring for the first time in a long time. Yeah. Didn't expect to like, ever see it again. In the books, like 22 years or something. I was like, you say a long time. A long time. Yeah. It's been the book's a long time. Long, for us, not much. How long has it been here in the movie? No, just think. Like, it's like seeing cocaine on someone's chest. I was like, I need that. I need that. <laughs> it's cocaine on somebody's chest. There's, uh, there's your moment, Shane. <laughs> Dude, his face got fucked up. It real yeah. fucked up. What happened? It, it became it's, Gollum like yeah. for a second. It's the evil draws him. Like, it brings out the worst in people. It looked like it was like a horror movie. I remember thing. watching that in theater and people going, whoa! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so great. I love how I don't love it, but I mean he's so ashamed of himself right here. Yeah. yeah. It's like it all comes you know crashing back shame. to him. Shame is an incredibly mm. credible motivator. So I watch his old man cry. Yeah. I look hate it. when old men look cry. Look what you're doing. Look what you shame has done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's greater motivator than fear and anything else. Shame. I said this before, but the the cool thing about casting John Rhys Davies as Gimli, I was talking to these guys earlier. He's the tallest member of the Fellowship. Yeah. So it used to be that well, they thought when they did the scale thing, they were going to have to do three sets: men and elves, and then Gimli, and then the Hobbits. But he's so tall compared to the people that are playing the Hobbits, they only had to do it twice. Yeah. I love it. That's cool. So they just go with like their normal scales whenever yeah. it's just the dwarf and the hobbits yeah, yeah. yep because yep. he's literally like a head taller than well, yeah them. johnny's davies a big he's man like, i'm like why the yeah. hell would you choose that man to be <laughs> yeah. a dwarf he's like six two or six three i think yeah. i would have chosen no one else he's he's yeah. so good he is they the said in the behind the scenes they're like we don't get a whole lot of like with the dwarves in this but if you want people to know what dwarves are like cast john reach davies yeah <laughs> and he'll tell you what dwarves are like i'll just ask anthony canner you could do that as well He has yeah, a nice a, that's a digital shot there. Yeah. Open shield look. They had them all walking in sequence, but like in different yeah. shots, so they put them all together. Can't you give them some horses? He's supposed like looks like he's like his late thirties, early forties there. Mm. And when, when were they together? They need him to get to the woods. At, when he was growing up. Okay, but she was always yeah. that age, though, right? Yep. Okay. Well, I mean, no, but yes, he always looked like that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. She was like a teenager. I mean, she wasn't she born looked like that. Look like that. No, yeah, yeah. yeah, she ages. So it's like you yeah. age with this woman who looked like that, and then you get yeah. older, she still looked like that. Yeah, <laughs> like he was a teenager and going. It's like episode one through, to episode two, going through adolescence, and she like, looked man, like man, that. Have you really changed? Yeah, <laughs> I love I love the score. Right here. And you too grow more beautiful. I mean, that's <laughs> yeah, good. I love it. 
and then Bill the Pony. Yeah. People always leave him out. He's the 10th member of the Fellowship. Yeah. You told me there were nine for the Nazgul's <laughs> and stuff. He's the Chewbacca of the group. Well, yeah. you don't count all the Nazgul's <laughs> horses. <laughs> Otherwise, there'd be 18. <laughs> Gotta walk for forty days. Who, who'd yeah. you tell me didn't want to ride a helicopter or some shit? Yeah. So when Boromir. they would get yeah, Boromir, Sean Bean was so afraid of the first time he went up in a helicopter, he refused to do it again. So what they would do is they'd get him in costume and makeup, like at the headquarters. They they drive him as far as they could, and then for the helicopters, everybody else would go. He would just start like at four a.m. and start climbing. Yeah, dressed as Boromir, climbing up rocks <laughs> to get to climbing set. up rocks and snowy mountains and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, Balin being one of the 13 yeah. dwarves of the Hobbit. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, his the, father Gloin. Yeah. Which I just, go ahead. I was going to say, we see Gloin in the, mm-hmm. in the council. I love Boromir. <laughs> 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 going, For the Shire. <laughs> Hold him down. Hold him down. This is a, <laughs> it's, it's such a great humanizing scene with Boromir because yeah. he's been really heavy so far. Oh, get! I think this Crab- thing's from Gears of War, Rick. Crebane, Crebine, Crebine, Crebine. It's a t- yeah, type of bird. You need you need to use dirt. Are they like scouts? Yeah. You figured it's too late, right? See, like, Saruman knows they if they got to get to Mordor, there's only certain places they can go. They can go this way, they can go over this mountain, or they can go under a mountain. Or they can go, what was it, the Gap of Rohan, which right. has to go right by Saruman. So Don't yeah. want to go that way. He's effectively, like, trying to block them in every way so he can get the ring. They don't do anything other than spy, right? Yeah, but now that, you know, he can send his forces that way. Yeah. It's the one he didn't want to take. Wow. wow. The one he, he didn't want to so take. Certain that they the saw one him. he didn't want to take the most was Moria. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Like, Saruman knows he won't go that way. <laughs> What's that? Why is he so certain that they saw him? Well, well they, he, just, they, they, they know. He didn't say they saw him, right? He said the passage south is blocked, which yeah. is the direction it's, they it's were going, watched. right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That shot right there, the ring is like this big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love this moment with Sean B. Now, up this mountain is one of the ones he had to climb. Yeah. He plays this this moment so well. It's really creepy, the When the ring is trying to tempt people, it has this children's choir yeah. song to it. And then it's when it's angry, it's like a black speech kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he held it for a couple seconds, and he's already, yeah, you know, he's hiding it well. It changed him. Aragorn was ready to cut him down. Yeah, he was. Right here. Yeah. He's going to kill him <laughs> if he didn't do it. If he had to, yeah. And then, yeah, we see the, the birds returning. Bom, bom, bom. Oh, this place is like new mat. Right yeah. here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which is better than Lowell. Yeah. <laughs> the uh in the book it's it's cool this mountain like Gandalf talks as if the mountain has like a personality and it does not want them to cross them. Yeah. Uh cool detail in this series is that Legolas can stand on the snow cuz elves are very light foot. mm mm-hmm. Mhm. Like, everybody else is sinking in and getting through, but he can just on top of the snow. Yeah. That's elves, pretty cool. Elves in a lot of lore have, like, nature yeah. advantages over things and stuff. Yeah. The the hobbits are known also to, like, be able to go through forests and not leave, like, footprints and stuff. Make but no noise. Not as much as elves, obviously. Yeah. Elves have a lot longer to practice. Yeah. So can Tom Brown. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> he makes the tracker knives. 
But no, in the in the movie, it's Saruman that's actually doing this. Not the mountain. Not the mountain. So they actually give more to nature than they do to the wizards in the book, then, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. And they they end up doing this later in the. Uh, he's still up there. Yeah. See, look look at what he's doing, man. <laughs> what Christopher Lee did? You guys thought he left? Looks like Death Mountain. I, I knew he'd yeah. be up there still. Uh, man, it sucks. And Legolas actually grabs Gandalf and pulls him back from yeah. the edge. Otherwise, he would have gone over. They were talking about when they were making this scene, like the snow is like salt and paper and water. Mm-hmm. And it's like an it's insanely hot mm-hmm. when they're filming. They had to act all cold. <laughs> it looks so cold. It looks yeah. cold. It, it looks yeah. cold. It looks real. So this is all fake snow. That they had to act cold. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Boromir wants to go close to his home. <sighs> uh, I'm over this shit. Yeah. So Moria. Yeah, you know Gimli. His part of his family sent people to Moria to reclaim it. Pretty much, he thinks they're going to get there, and there's going to yeah. be this giant dwarven party. You yep. know, well, from <laughs> all he knows, that they were successful. But Gandalf knows what really happened. Okay, so he knows that the Balrog, or whatever's there. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Gimli yeah. doesn't know. The Balrog is another one of these creatures that are like. They used to be angelic beings, and now they've become this, you know? Gandalf and the Balrog and Sauron are almost kind of all on the same level. Or at least used to be. And they don't got any gloves. That would suck. That would suck. Yeah. Well, you see how, like, his hands are red and swollen from yeah. the heat. There's also... So, th- Go ahead. I was going to say, why does Gandalf not want to make the decision himself there? Why does he let Frodo do it? I, just, I, I, don't, I don't know. He's like the it, it might be a matter of like I don't want to be responsible for this. Yeah, or I I know there's no other way, but I don't want to choose. Yeah, I guess. All right, I just it feels like you're pushing it on like, in a way like you're pushing it on my kid. You know, yeah. like I'll make my kid to choose. Then I didn't do it. This little fuck yeah. did. You know, well, <laughs> something everyone will agree to. Maybe there's also maybe there might be an element too that Gandalf knows loosely what's going to happen. Like they might get through Moria, but I might not. Yeah. Mm. He you also know. he doesn't want to trust his own decisions because he he fears he might be influenced. Yeah, he can't control what the ring does. But the hobbits have that much control over what they're doing. They have more resilience against it. Yeah. Well, and like Saruman knows him really well, so maybe yeah. he can guess. Yeah, his decisions. Okay. Like, it's it's interesting because the hobbits are hardy, but they're also they're so weak. It's like the ring doesn't affect them as much. Like, the more powerful you are, the more the ring can affect you. You know, mm-hmm. the more it tries to take <laughs> you over. All <laughs> well, dwarf doors are invisible. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> dwarf doors are invisible. Funny, like Gandalf has been here before. He's opened this door before, but he's lived so long he's forgotten where it is, how yeah. to do it. <laughs> Wait, were they here in The Hobbit? No, not, not here. In the okay, Hobbit. just no, a long no. time ago. Though we will see the corpse of one of the thirteen dwarves from The yeah. Hobbit. So. Shane, what would you think the password would be? Uh, I don't know. Some fucking the dwarf knows a song. Yeah. I would like to know what he tries first there. Me too. <laughs> like, well, it says I speak friend. You probably just say friend and dwarf. No? Brew? Ridiculous. Preposterous. I mean, the thing there said he spoke Elvish. Why the hell would Elvish open the door? It's Elvish magic. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why the hell? This was back in the day when elves and dwarves were... Mm-hmm. more friendly with each other uh, <laughs> the, hall, the halls of Durin actually in the Hobbit you hear uh, Durin's day he was a he was a great hero among the dwarves and he was the lord of this mountain knock your head against him. 
He's always giving Pippin shit. Yeah, he, he deserves is. it. <laughs> Full of a toque is such a great insult. Yeah. yeah. I have called people that before. I have too. It's very <laughs> insulting. <laughs> No, Aww. boo. Good, Bill. That just looked like a horse. Huh. Don't, don't do that. I know See, it's in this there. This is why they get shit. <laughs> <laughs> Can't hold this game up. <laughs> Bilbo's told him a lot of riddles. See, Aaron, elvish, not dwarvish. Well, I Sorry. thought it was a dwarven door. <laughs> yeah, I thought that too, until you said it again a little bit ago. It's, it's just friend enter? Yeah. Say friend. Or Speak friend, friend and, and enter. So friend and elvish is melon. 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 Yeah, melon. Melon. Okay, I'm going to remember that now. I love the little crystal he puts in that staff. Me too. I love how he turns it what on. What the fuck was that? I thought that there was a scene where they. Malt beer. Yeah, that sounds so great, doesn't it? Does it does sound great. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry. It's mead. A mine. A, a mine. mine. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, he didn't notice all these dead dwarves. He was real hyped. Yeah. He was let down. The they, eyes hadn't adjusted yet. They died just walking in. Mm. They didn't get very far. And that's them leaving. Yeah, they were trying to yeah. escape. Oh, okay. They forgot the word. Oh, mm -hmm. that's right. You would say, like, well, what, why didn't they just go out the door? The door's right there. Yeah, now I remember. Okay. I was like, wasn't there a scene when there were just tentacles holding them up in the air and shit? The they played the video games. They had clips from the movies. You should remember more of this. <laughs> this I don't remember this in a video game. <laughs> yeah, it definitely was. I only played Two Towers and Return of the King. Oh, this is so frightening. Blah. Jeez. Aww. The PlayStation 2 games were so good. They were good. If you, if you notice here, it's, it's, it's almost like it's searching Frodo. Yeah. Like, it senses that Frodo has something, and it's, like, searching for the ring. Dude, I, l I love Legolas. Yeah, Legolas is great. Ugh. Uh, okay, now I didn't know Davy Jones was in this movie. I hate this thing's mouth. Uh, it's like... Uh, that's how you do an orchestra sting. Yeah, I know. What if we were to land on the sword? <laughs> What a oh, great shot. Yeah. Got him right in the eye. <clears throat> you see this giant thing. Mm. It's like a spider with a face as a thorax. It's yeah. terrifying. And that's like, why the dwarves couldn't just leave. Yeah. Legolas is the reason I, I like rangers. Yeah. <laughs> like in like D&D &D and WoW and stuff like that. Like archers. Yeah. I love using bows and arrows. Now, this... That light, they change a lot. from Like, the first time you saw it, it was just, like, a glowing crystal. Now it's, yeah. like, so bright. Yeah. Well, yeah, this... is so dark. This movie, these movies really developed uh, using color correction to also do mood lighting like this. Mm. Like, a lot of that was interact... Like, it's it's all bright, and they artificially darken the spots. Yeah. To make the shadows look yeah. deeper. And they developed... And they start. Away. They were, like, one of the first movies to start doing things where you'd have, like, bigger crowd shots, and you could, like, all right, just rotoscope like a circle here and brighten just this person so mm -hmm. people are more likely to look there because it's brighter you know yeah just tiny little adjustments to a big wide scene and you can direct the eye a yeah. lot mines look so much better than the ones in the hobbit they do because these are all models yep. mm -hmm. just this right here like today they just pick no do it cg like back there <laughs> yeah that's back there is a model you yeah. just walk on that thing yeah, it's a well, well not well, right here. This, this is a set piece okay. behind it they've yeah. superimposed a model okay yeah 
So there's real like, depth of they field. They photograph the camera. model, then yeah. photograph this, and then composite them together. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And then they, you're saying that they also filmed this stuff in light, like full lighting, and then darkened it? Well, the 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 shot above, or previously, mm-hmm. like when they were first back there, there's a lot more light in here because of the Mithro. This is new in the extended cut. Yeah, yeah this is new in the second cut. This is what uh, Frodo's shirt that Bilbo gave him is made of. Yep. And why it's it's like it's so... It's very valuable. valuable. And it's why the dwarves dug so deep to get to it. And they literally dug to hell. <laughs> yeah. yeah, basically. That's what the Balrog is. In the Lord of the Rings universe, I believe elves can't t- touch or wield iron. Mm. So that's another reason why Mithril is so valuable to oh, them. Interesting. I never heard that. At least that's how, how it is in D&D. And I believe D&D got it from Lord of the mm. Rings. Really? Yeah. Huh. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's true as well. Damn. They said Thorin. Yeah, Thorn, greater yeah. than the value of everything in a shire. Thorn Oakenshield. Yeah, yeah, so that shirt that he's wearing is more yep. valuable than everything than in the, the shire. shire. The shire, the shire, is a shire yeah. But it's hard as dragon scales and as light as a feather. Even though it doesn't have any trauma plates in it. No. Yep. It's just, yeah, it just rings. Yeah. I mean, later. I love, I love this look. <laughs> <laughs> I have that look often. <laughs> <laughs> Just going home. He's like, yeah. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm I want to see it. Rick do that. Like, yeah, like, I can imagine Rick sitting there meditating, trying to remember which way is the right way. Just replaying in his memory every time that he's gone home. And just that portion just being blank. <laughs> hey. So, yeah, we discover Gollum has been following them. And yeah. again, a very different Gollum model than we'll see later. Mm-hmm. I love that Gandalf knew. I love the way Ian McKellen's teeth whistle slightly. Yeah. So great. But yeah, it looks very different than what will end up looking later. Mm-hmm. Yep. It does? A lot more cat-like. It's still not this. bad here. It's not bad. It's, no, it's not bad. They just hadn't finished, like what their idea of the model yeah. was going to be. Well, it's when they cast Andy Serkis to do the the voice, and then they start seeing him on screen. They're like, I mean, Peter Jackson's like, we're redesigning him. He's going to look like Andy Serkis. Yeah. Yeah. He kind of reminds me of Toothless. Yeah. A little bit. A little bit there. Whenever the he opens his eyes and stuff yeah. there. I love this. Mm-hmm. It's good. Yeah. And it really shows why why Gandalf doesn't have a more hands-on, you know, role to play sometimes. And And on Ian McKellen, like, in that one shot where he's, like, looking around, I was looking at his nose. I'm like, is his nose... Makeup. He has a yeah, prosthetic. He has nose. a prosthetic nose. He already has quite a large nose, but when they put the hair and the beard on him, your all of your features shrink. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Gandalf's nose known for having this large nose, so they're like, "We need to give you a bigger nose." So. Because yeah. then during this scene, I'm staring at it again. I'm like, it kind of looks big, but yeah. not. Yeah. It looked yeah. really yeah. big earlier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love that line. Decide what to do with the time that is given to us. When he says it, you almost believe things like that. No. Yeah. Oh. That's what I try <laughs> <laughs> Which is exactly the logic that Rick would use. <laughs> Even your prosthetic giant one. Yeah. There's a lot of those shots they do that are really good as far as, like, just the different sizing yeah. of everybody. I, I love this scene and this theme because they you don't get to see dwarves much at no. all in this. But right here, you feel like, man, the dwarves are fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. Just listening to the music and seeing what they did in this seeing mine. what they built. Yeah. Like, look at this. What they carved out of This nothing. was solid yeah. rock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it seems so large, it's almost infinite. No. There aren't 
like I don't really remember dwarves in this, like no, in the whole just series. Scary. Like there was a few there at the mm-hmm. the little meeting thing, yeah. but mm-hmm. like are most of the dwarves dead? They're not dead. They're off in their own kingdoms and orcs and everything are actually everybody's being kind of attacked at once. Yeah, on so all they, they can't really come to help. They're dealing with their own things, you know. Yeah, they're in like most of the dwarves that are left in uh, in these lands are like in the Iron Hills yeah. and stuff. They're not really attacking the elves because they're leaving. Yeah, most of the uh, major dwarven strongholds have been taken over. Now could. Could Sauron get to the west? If he, he has to go through Gondor to do it. Oh, no, okay. he, he means where the elves are going. Oh, could he oh. go that far? Um, probably not. They're called the Undying Lands. Like, I don't think you can die when you're there. It's, it's pretty much heaven. It, it's yeah. kind of like you, Avalon well, you can take a well. boat to get there. Well, yeah, well uh, I think it's like Avalon yeah. where you can only get there if you're meant to be there. Yeah. yeah. So Balin, we remember Balin from the Hobbit movies. Have you seen him? So this is his tomb. This is tomb. his tomb. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't remember any of those dwarves, except for Thorin. <laughs> yeah. When they said Thorin, I'm like, hey, Thorin, I know that. But. <laughs> that one right here, this is Ori, I think. He's like the kind of monk-like looking. Mm-hmm. So I've only seen the Dwee. first one with you. Yeah. And it was pretty good. I it just, was okay. The first one was okay. You loved the first one when we saw it. You were singing a song and shit. Yeah, I love that song. The song's amazing. Third one, just way too much going on like, yeah, for me, yeah. you know? The second one I want to see. This is frightening to yeah. think about. He's just writing this shit. Find this shit in Resident Evil. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're about to see a fool of a took. Yep. <laughs> Mary <laughs> some shit Pippin, up. whichever one. I don't remember which Pippin. one's which. I can never remember which one's which. Mary is Charlie. Mary is the warrior. Pippin is the worthless one, except he persuades the trees. <laughs> we cannot <laughs> get out. <laughs> They are coming. I love the scribble at the end. Yeah, he so dies. Yep. Yeah. Uh, oh, my gosh. It's so loud. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a chain carrying even more to make even more noise. <laughs> in the bucket. Is this all in the book? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this all this all happens and everything. He just echoes. <laughs> For miles. I love Pippin here. like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. I should not have done that. I should not have done that. Oh, took. <laughs> I love the insult. Ah. Yeah, no fear. What? Listen. It's so great. <laughs> he would have made Pippin. less noise. Poor Pippin. Yeah. Oh. I love the zoom into the yeah the, the darkness. Well. It's so good. All these miniatures. Yeah. Dong dong dong. Time for diggy diggy holes, Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that happened earlier. Yeah, <laughs> and then they got to this. It's too late now. <laughs> That's what started this. Oh no. Well, I I say, yeah. I thought they said the goblins were here. We uh, orcs and goblins are pretty much the same thing. They're just oh! they're smaller and That's close. Yeah. They're more like insects, the the goblins, than they are yeah. like demon looking things. <laughs> yeah. If there were uh, like a hierarchy, it would be goblins, orcs, urukai. Yeah. Where do cave trolls come in? They're higher. They're higher. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're really dumb, but yeah. yeah. They're immensely powerful. <laughs> Look at. <laughs> Oh, I love that line so much. It's <laughs> a great line. Yeah. No one was there to write it down if he had died. Dude, Aragorn looks a little shaky. Yeah, well, Aragorn's, he's a ra- he is officially a ranger, but he's not as good as an archer. I mean, he, not, not shaky as in, like, he just looked, like, scared almost. Yeah, scared, yeah. You know what I mean? Well, I'm sure the adrenaline's pumping. He knows what happened to all these great warriors of dwarves. These real men in prosthetics. Yep, it looks great. Yeah, a lot of the a lot of the orcs and stuff were uh, also women, so they'd have more like slender frames. And here go the hobbits. Yeah, there they They're go. Brave. I would have funneled them more at the door. Yeah, I oh, love uh, Aragorn just screaming. Ah! 
<laughs> and that guy's like, huh? And he just chops oh, his head off. Uh-oh. Look at this. <clears throat> and this is the, the cage rancor. Rule. I mean, the yeah. rancor. <laughs> That's what I meant. This is the first major piece of CG we're getting in this movie. Yeah, yeah. I was going to ask earlier. I'm like, is there any like? I'm trying yeah. to remember what CGI is in this movie. And it looks great. Yeah, Consider I, well, Harry I, Potter one came out like the same year this did. They yeah. And the troll, troll in that, right? that is terrible. Yeah, yeah, it is. It looks so much better. He's goofier looking. Looks better. Oh, oh <laughs> he looks better than the Goblin King and the Hobbit. He does. Yeah, I, I really think he does. He looks great. Oh shit! Was that a goblin? Yep. Yeah. A throwing axe. No, not the oh. tomb. Oh. You'll pay for that. <laughs> he shielded his family. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Dude, when you watch John Reese Davies do the stunts. Oh, he, Legolas he is a badass. Le- dude. Right here. We'll, we'll watch it. Yeah, this is great. It goes. A, it'll go around the pillar. In a second. I can't remember exactly when. Catches it with his foot. Runs up the chain. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thwack. Oh, he, got, he just he keeps a hard on it. skull. Yeah. I love Sam here. He's so good. He's hitting him with a frying pan. <laughs> yeah, he dropped a sword. <laughs> no, I think he has it in his other hand. Yeah. Does he? But they, they talk about what John Reese davis like. He can't see in his prosthetics. He can see like this. And yeah. he does not like to rehearse He's... stunts at all. Yeah. So he'll, what he'll do is like, okay, how many people are coming towards me? And there'll be like uh, five of us, John. He's like, okay, you come at me, and I'll hit you with my axe, and then you come, and I'll hit you, and you come, and I'll hit you. And he just hits him as hard as he can. <laughs> These guys are afraid of John Reese davis but he always looks great. <laughs> he does always look great. <laughs> like, they built his cheeks and his, his uh, brows up yeah. so much around his eyes with the prosthetics and stuff. And he was also allergic to it, so... Partially, it was the prosthetics, and then yeah. also partially, his eyes were swollen shut yep, in some were. of these shots. Man, that hammer that thing has is crazy. Ugh! I don't like the way the skin wrinkles when he stabs him. It looks him so good. <laughs> he's throwing he rocks so good, at him. Yeah. Oh, he man, could die. Cool. He would die. <laughs> well, he's unconscious. This thing's like a toothpick he's sticking in. Uh, now, if you don't have trauma plates, that would cut him in half. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It wouldn't pierce him. It's magic, Calvin. Uh, yeah. Magic, <laughs> yes, yeah. It's a cave troll. Yeah. <laughs> if there wasn't plates there, a cave troll would cut you in half. <laughs> this isn't real. <laughs> I mean, I like the force <laughs> just break some ribs. Yeah, that's I'm, the thing. I'm just saying. But like, it's, it's a magical thing. Everyone starts fighting harder. His own is like fake death. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Revitalize people to fight harder. Yeah. Look at these brave hobbits on yep. the back of this cave troll. <laughs> yeah. Just stabbing them. Like, uh, last time fucked. hobbits fought a troll, they had to wait till sunrise. Well, that was a different kind of troll. Yeah. Those these r- are much stupider cave they trolls. They are stupid. He shoots. Through his mouth and into his brain. Yeah. yeah. You can I see the fletching. You feel bad out. for it right now. No. It is a pitiful sound. Look at this. This thing was raised and tortured by orcs. Yeah. And it's stupid. <laughs> it's a, it's an animal. <laughs> you know. It was raised and tortured by orcs. I don't feel for it at all. He's alive. They gotta be freaking the fuck out. Right? <laughs> so no one knew he had that? Nope. Yeah. Just Bilbo. He, he kept didn't it Gandalf a say it earlier? He, he said, said about... They, they uh, gave it to Bilbo. Yeah, he yeah. didn't know that no, Frodo had it. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. oh, the music. Okay, I remember this scene so many times mm-hmm. from watching on Stars. Yeah. 
I remember being, oh my god, what the yeah. hell? You can see these, they act a lot more like insects because they're the goblins. Yeah, they're kind of like jittery and like... And they start crawling on the walls and shit. They're, yeah. they're, they're, crawling down, they're crawling down the pillars and stuff. Yeah. They're like roaches almost. Yeah. They thrive in the darkness. So these are goblins they spill now? Out. Yeah, these, these are, are goblins. goblins. Yeah, those are goblins. Uh, the orcs are, are a little bit bigger. Yeah, they got like bigger eyes. They see in the dark a lot better. They eat like fish that are found in the caverns. Even their armor is like roachy. Like these are a lot more like Falmer in. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> in Skyrim. Look at these fucks. Yeah. Ah oh, man, I, Gandalf realizing that what he heard is true is so good. Yeah. They all run away from something scary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gimli. <laughs> they, they suck. <laughs> they're, they're scared of me. Well, I can. I love how you can see it where it is through the pillars. Look at Gandalf's face. I love it. Run. <laughs> Devilry. Devilry. My daddy say black magic. Yeah. Look. Oh man. I, I wish it were not true. Is he there yeah. being like, please don't be it, please don't be it? Yeah. Is that what he's doing? <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Even, Damn the greed. Even legs these dwarves <laughs> shaking. This foe is beyond any of you, Ron. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so good. So, uh, like I like that shot. Is that too. Ian like, McKellen yeah. running? All yeah. those sizes. Yeah. Oh damn! This is twenty years ago. Yeah, he's still got to be like seventy, right? <laughs> no, he's not that old. Oh, not in this. So, the cool thing about this upcoming sequence with this break in the stairs is that the concept artist, one of the concept artists, uh, Alan Lee, mm -hmm. he was just drawing these stairs and just put a little crack in them. And Peter Jackson said he looked at that crack for days and imagined this sequence that ends up being like. Four minutes of the movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so awesome. And it comes back in such a great way in Two Towers. It does. <laughs> Hear the uh, dwarves in the background? Yeah. What they're saying is it's in Dwarvish, and they're saying, like, we're burning. We're on fire. We're dying. Please help us. <laughs> That's what they're saying in the background on the course. Uh, Howard Shore went and got, like, a bunch of rugby players with big, gruff voices. Not a chorus. Rugby yeah. players. And he has him saying these lines that are like, "They're doing like an opera. the devil is here. We're dying. Our skin is burning from our from our muscles." Hmm. So this is the scene you're talking about with the crack. Yeah, the crack yeah. scene here because of that back there. Yeah. Ah, hurry, Legolas. You like archers now, Aaron? Yes, Aaron. The cool detail this here is, bitch, is that this is the bitch thing to do right here. This the, is why. Look at that. Yeah. Yes, I love archers, Rick. Yes, <laughs> but the cool detail here is that Legolas is the only one actually hitting anything. Yep. Yeah. Aragorn's not hitting anything. I thought you were gonna say he really shoots that far and hits some <laughs> hits some guy. <laughs> yeah, it's just that's how good an elf archer is. I mean, these guys yeah. aren't really hitting anything either. No. Nope. Oh Ugh. man, been thrown. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. I love it. He just flat foot jumped. <laughs> oh, I, so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate that. I hate that so much. Man, that would be so hard to hold on to steps yeah, like that, know. you know? How would you do it? So smooth from thousands of years. I mean, at least you have the height to be able to try to get distance. I, I you know, when when this, they also, may, they'll get across, you know, when this breaks and it goes forward. But I love the, the fellowship theme that happens as they're all finally across. It's like they all work together mm -hmm. as one to get across this thing, you know? Yeah. It's such a triumphant part of the score. Is this scene, scene for scene in the book like this? No. No, no. this isn't in the book this at all. This is all Peter Jackson. This awesome. is Peter Jackson thinking, like, this would be pretty cool. It's fucking awesome. So the Balrog and shit, is that in the book? No, the Balrog's in the okay. book. Oh, yeah. Balrog, yeah, that's in the book. Just just the part where, like, it, the, the, steps. the steps break and everything. <laughs> but the, the music here, I love it so much. But no, like, they designed these steps as if, like, when the dwarves would get in trouble, 
They could collapse them. They no, they would like if you had like a criminal or something. Oh. One of the things you could do is just throw them down the steps, and their body would never stop. Oh. <laughs> They'd eventually get like you know it'd be very embarrassing if the body stopped halfway through. Yeah, you know. <laughs> So yeah, when you this roll is, off the uh, side and die, yeah, up. that's the point. So. Uh, it still looks so good. It looks amazing. Twenty years, yeah. The the heat rippling the the and hey the man, light and everything. People have stolen this look. Like oh, they developed yeah. this look, but yeah, there's a Boston Legends of Twilight Princess is exactly like this. It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Diablo kind of looks like that from Diablo. Yeah, that right. This right here is the, the first use of actual digital doubles. Like none of that is real except for the the model, the characters there are fake. I wouldn't want to run across that. Yeah, I know. Why, why doesn't he stop now? It'll catch him. You got to remember, Gandalf and the Balrog are equal in terms of power. I love it. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I'd hate to lose my wizard. <laughs> I know. Especially one as badass as this. Why is that Balrog so pissed? Just get out of there, man. Look at that whip. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's so it's so bad. epic, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's amazing. <laughs> I love how low his staff is in front of him. Because it should be... A few inches taller than him, but there it was and down in front of his And what happens here is so petty. You know it what is mean? petty. I mean, it's it got wings. Petty. It doesn't look like it should reach, though. You know, it, I didn't feel like it looked that long. Well, it's That's also a, a petty thing whip. to do. There's <laughs> <gasps> a, it's a great video of Ian McKellen at a college, and yeah. people are like all around him, and he's like, remember, if you do not study... You shall not pass. <laughs> it's been highly memed as well. <laughs> yeah, we had a picture, a poster of that in our high school. Does he? Does he scream it? <sighs> yeah. But no, this is the loss of Gandalf. Yeah. Gandalf the Grey. This is a digital so head. So when he comes on a young back, person's body. what is it? <laughs> yeah. See that? That right there. That was that was Elijah Wood's head on a green screen on a little person's body. <laughs> <laughs> I love watching this, how he ducks. Yeah. George R. R. Martin famously said that this should have been the end of Gandalf. I'm so glad he comes back, though. Me too. Stronger. So what is he when he comes back? He's just, he's what Saruman should have been. Yeah. <clears throat> like the, the, you know, God or So did whatever. he die, though? He dies. And he, how's he come back? He's brought back. By whatever the higher powers in this world whatever are. sent him the first time knows that saruman has corrupted his original mission and it sends gandalf back as gandalf the white okay but he's still saruman's original same charge. memories and stuff like that yeah. yeah kind of i mean he <clears throat> recognizes that he's a different person but he still can't remember some things okay like he still has the memory of the histories and everything like that yeah. but it's almost like he woke up from a long stasis i i, I love boromir there yeah. Like, he really, he could easily just be the asshole of the group, and that makes the movie at the end, like, oh, yeah, well, he's the asshole. That makes sense. But he's given a lot of chances to humanize himself. Well, yeah. yeah, and he's always the one catching the yeah. hobbits. Yeah. 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 And, like, he le like he legitimately, like, he wants to save people. Yeah. You know? He wants to use the ring to save his world because his, he's his seen, city is right next to Mordor. Yeah, he's seen uh, people, like, he cares about die fighting against Mordor yeah. for his yeah. entire life. And he thinks he can change it. Well, yeah, the loss of Gandalf here and Frodo, especially, it sucks. And Aragorn just has to he has to do what he can. Yeah. He's kind of doing the same thing he did when they first met. Like, yeah. Gandalf wasn't there. Yeah. He's trying to take him somewhere like, safe. How do you fill those shoes? You know. The goblins won't follow them out of the mountain. Not during the day. Yeah. Yeah. The orcs can. Yeah. They like they, they, they don't like light. No, the no. goblins don't know. They're kind of no. like trolls in that way. I don't know if they turn to stone, but no, but they they're don't blinded like, by it. Yeah. They can't see. Yeah, hmm. at the very least. Same they way sense they their can... eyes, like when you saw the one, like they were really big eyes. Yeah. They didn't really have like yeah. you know brows over to block mm -hmm. the sun or anything. And... <laughs> it's 
So now we're in uh, Lothlorien. So John Reeves is so tall, they just th- there's that's, no yeah, fixing another here. It's no. just this is to scale. That's him just standing, that's him there standing there with Elijah, Elijah Wood. Wood. Yeah. So Galadriel, we you know she was speaking in the beginning of the movie. Oh, Hella, that's Hella. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But I mean, I she is elf woman. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> she is the most powerful elf. I think she's Arwen's grandmother in the in the book too. Not is sure. she? Yeah. Hmm. Hello. <laughs> you will not be ensnared. <laughs> <laughs> They're standing right in <laughs> right front there. of him. <laughs> he literally just wasn't looking. He's at so him. stubborn. Yeah. I, yeah. Like so proud Le- of Legolas. Dwarven. The only one who wasn't caught unaware, by the way. Do you recognize that actor? I recognize him, but I've never been able to see him. Who again. is he? He's um he's the bad he's the bad guy from Spartacus. Oh, the, if you've seen Spartacus, well, I saw the first the, season. The, the, yeah, huh. he is but he in also like a British comedy show. Yeah, he plays a lot of. I've seen a lot of him. Which one? But I've seen him in this first. <laughs> this is extended, I think. Right? Yeah, this yeah. is extended. Oh no! It sounds insulting. Yeah. I can't believe he said that. <laughs> and they can sense it. Mm-hmm. Lothlorien is like a, it's like a, like a haven in the middle of a lot of shit. You know, mm-hmm. wherever elves like amass, it's pretty safe, but they're very protective. They're all kind of just like silently judging Frodo. Yeah. Like if it weren't for you, we could be safe now. They want to Obviously, go. they don't feel that way, yeah. you know. But yeah. Frodo kind of sees it. It's it's kind of like a thing that. Is it ring doing that to him? It might be. It's I'll be listen, looking at Pippin. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> because of you, Gandalf is dead. But Boromir. Yeah. Thank you, Boromir. Like that. Shot being so good. Is this all in the original? No, no this is extended. Oh, yeah, this is extended. Shit. Why did they cut yeah. that out? Was in the book, though? <laughs> right. Is it so <laughs> good? Is it the book? That's such a nice moment for Boromir. Uh, I remember some jackass in the end. Gets, yeah. I don't remember much Boromir. I mean, like, yeah. this fuck tried to take this ring. I'm glad he's dead. You know, <laughs> like, that's what I remember of him. Yeah. This is all extended stuff. Yep. So before they just catch him and then they're just here? Pretty yeah. much, yeah. I love the design, like how the staircase goes around the tree. The elves mm-hmm. always build around it's like nature. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. It's like Teldris, though. Like, it took so long to climb up one of these giant trees. It's n- night now. <laughs> <laughs> Like these trees are so tall, and they're climbing up them. It was n- it was day it was, when they were yeah. down there. It was like, now it's night. They're walking Dusk. up poor, the stairs. Poor for hours. Sean. Yeah, poor Sean Bean. Time. Everyone else took a helicopter. That'd be terrible. <laughs> Couldn't do that in real life. <laughs> we do that every morning for the wave cave. Walk, walking up the stairs for yeah, hours. We do. That's what it feels like. <laughs> <laughs> we had to put a water cooler halfway up. The back door is so much more pleasant, isn't it? <laughs> Just longer breaks between walking up flights of steps. So, I mean, it's not. I, I think it, it is in the extended edition, but. Uh, uh, I lost what else track I was going to say. It's cool how they light Galadriel. Because mm-hmm. what they do, like, because in the book, she's supposed to, like, you're supposed to look in her eyes and see, like, the stars pretty much. Yeah, so I th- think. So, I, what they did was they went and got Christmas lights. And put them behind the camera, so when you look into her eyes, you see these little pink pricks of light. Yeah, it's a pretty cool little thing. I think this is the guy that you're thinking of, Rick. He's in a lot of British sitcoms. See the Christmas lights in her eyes. Yeah.
But no, like Galadriel is actually one of the oldest, uh, one of the oldest of the elves. In fact, like one of the first beings to ever go bad. Like the first of the, you know, these these elves are extremely old. They're very holy, you know. Like it, it, it saw Galadriel's hair and like how beautiful she was, and like developed the the Cimmerals from them, you know. Like was inspired by her. The what? They're these like holy things that ultimately at the end of the day will lead to something like Sauron. Hmm. It's very complicated. <laughs> she might as the Empress in, in, uh, in a never ending story. Yeah. yeah. I like how she can have like multiple conversations at once. Like, cause yeah. these guys are all kind of having this at the same time. Yep. Borma can't even look at her. Come with him. She's speaking to him. Yeah. He feels guilty. I love the Lothlorien leaves on the ground, too. See, at this point, she starts speaking. And then I think she starts having a conversation with maybe Frodo? With Frodo, yeah. Yeah, right here. Yeah. Ugh, <laughs> it's freaky eyes. <laughs> it's man. a little freaky. <laughs> I mean, that's the danger of bringing something that evil and that powerful to somebody that's this powerful, too. Yeah. Like, you can corrupt them. She just freaks out. She'll Rawr. freak the fuck out, yeah. Lament. Yeah. This is extended as well. Yeah. And if you, you can take the translated <clears throat> Elvish that's being sung here, and th it's literally saying, like, Gandalf the Grey, where are you? You have wandered and you cannot be found, that kind of thing. <laughs> I have not the heart to, to tell you what it says. Yeah. I just love the details of taking the actual language and <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> <laughs> I love Sam. <laughs> <laughs> they don't talk about his fireworks. That's so good. He's like, what the shit? <laughs> 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 it's like Shane and Beck. Gimli was yeah. <laughs> done to many people, Rick. <laughs> Most recent. I like that little back. poem he did. Yeah. Yeah. His song. Is this stuff from the books that they yeah. did and then they just oh, cut out stuff of, that they filmed yeah. from the books? Yeah. Is that what it is? There's a lot of, like, sometimes you have, like, a page and a half of a song that you yeah. just read through, you know? Well, yeah, but I mean, like, is was this a scene that was yeah. from the books? And, like, is a lot of what they cut out things that they filmed because of the books had it? Yes. And then they were yeah. like, well, we'll give yeah. it that. I like his undershirt. Yeah, people were pretty good in a blazer. See, like she was having a conversation with Boromir while she was talking to everybody else, trying to encourage him, but he he just doesn't see it. Because hmm. they need a king. They have no king. Yep. It's the influence of his Mordor dad is being no so king. Close to him. No, he's not. No. <laughs> Wait a minute. But John Noble is a hell of a man. He's he is a John Noble. John <laughs> Noble, man. <laughs> is he the guy in the second movie who just runs? No. No. He's in the third movie, I think. In the third movie, he jumps off a building. Yeah, okay. That's yeah. all I remember. He completely ignores the other son. Faramir. Yeah. Faramir, yeah. Yeah, Faramir is played by uh, Ice Cream <laughs> from yeah. Iron Fist. Do you like ice cream? Ice cream. Huh. Yeah. Harold Meacham. I could just listen to Boromir talk about how awesome Minas Tirith is. Gondor. And Aragorn has never been home. You 
you know, Vigo and Sean, they talk about how they're like the two playing, you know, the men in this story. They got really, really close during filming. Yeah. You know? Okay. That's cool. The Hob- of course, the Hobbits got very close. Gimli and Legolas got very close. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gimli and the poor stuntmen. The, uh, you know, the nine members of the Fellowship, the actors, they all got the Elvish number nine tattooed somewhere. I thought John Reese Davis did I, I think John Reese Davis might not have done it. But he had a very different time in this. Yeah. In this than yeah, he was allergic and shit. Yeah. And he had a really rough time. It's in like this. the yeah. Avengers and Mark Ruffalo didn't get the tattoo, right? Yeah. So, uh, in in the book, at the end of this story, like you know, the ring is destroyed and everything's all happy, and then we get to the scouring of the Shire, which was like another hundred pages of the story keeps going you know and the, the shire was even the, the shire which you think oh no one can ever touch that it, it'll be perfect when i get home and i'll be happy saruman has, had, had come there and you know did all these things and they cut that from the movie but here you still see the elements where they show like the shire being in de- the hobbits yeah. being enslaved and all that stuff so it's a, it's a little thing like left from the book that they can throw in here i like and they do this with plans to have that? No. Or no, they the, just did this, but they're yeah. like, well, we're not going to have that later, but yeah. we'll show you. They did this instead of having all that. Yeah, they always knew they were going to cut it at the end of the movie, but they wanted to like be able to pay like a little homage to it. So they show it here in like this version of the future, you know? It's like everybody's got Snapchat filters on in this place. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Everybody's the, face is so smooth. This movie is responsible for the color grading technology we have today. Yeah, like the stuff that's on my computer right now was developed for Lord of the Rings. Yeah. So he sees all the doubt. Yep. Which is cool because I think this is in the theatrical version, but seeing them do it wasn't right. Yeah. So you didn't really understand where yeah. that was coming from. And then, you know, you get the... It's so hard to watch. These poor damn hobbits getting beaten. <laughs> it's terrible. Yeah. He was so happy when he hit him. I know. Well, they're so ah! easy to kill. <laughs> well, then why were you so, why were you so satisfied? Well, because hmm. they're going to eat them. Yeah. Oh. They eat them. They put them to work. They, they have mills. Yeah. And... yeah, that's that's hobbiting right there. Just destroyed and black. Uh, I love, I love the this. ring. Even the ring is like, is that Sauron? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a bear. So is that him seeing? That was, like, him seeing that was the things. eye? Yeah. Was, well, just, was the eye actually seeing him? No. no. That's what I was thinking. That girl's creepy. Jeez, I would creepy. hate that shit if you're arguing. Shut your mouth, and they just look at you and they're in your mind. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. <sighs> He's come to really care for the. Yeah, you know. But yeah, I mean, I, I love this vision of what Galadriel could be. Yeah. It's pretty much Hella here from Thor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love her voice and then the, like, the deep voice in the back. Yeah. So good. Well, they do, I think they do, like, a male voice. Yeah. Like, Big, underneath, mm-hmm. and then her voice deepened. Yeah. So it has the same, like, The coloring they the had broad. in that shot was interesting. It was great, yeah. Yeah. I think they did it, like, really bright, and then they mm-hmm. inverted the colors or something like that. Yeah, this is extended right here. 
Because she also yeah. bears the ring of one of the, of the elves. I can't remember which element the ring is. Isn't it air? Maybe, yeah. Because I think that's the, the yeah. magic she uses in The Hobbit. So she has that. Elrond had one. Elrond right? has mm -hmm. one. Yeah. Who has the other one? Because there's three of the elven? Well, it's I don't know if it's ever revealed. Maybe in the extended edition, but you end up finding out that Gandalf held one of them, too. Hmm. And then the oh, nine cool. human rings were the Nazgul, the, so there are no more humans that have rings then, right? Right. And the dwarves, unfortunately, were all... They were by, all eaten lost. by dragons. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Dragon fire can also melt a ring of power. I don't know about the ring of power, but those ones. But the weaker rings. Well, there's no dragons now, right? Not now they're all gone. Is it Manu Bennett? <laughs> 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 Looks just no. like Galadriel. He's in uh, The Hobbit, though, I think, right? Yeah, he's he one of the main orcs of that. Uh, I think this guy's called Sala Baker, who's this huge New Zealand huge, dude. Yeah. like, And he's really good about emoting under all this heavy prosthetic. He uses his jaw a lot. Yeah. It's like a handprint on his head. Oh, it yeah, is. So yeah, it's it the is. white hand of Saruman, yeah. Yeah. They're just getting jazz and painting themselves. <laughs> Look how jazz they are. It's cocaine, that's why. Yeah. I thought that guy was taking a, he was taking a nap and he just came behind him, grabbed his face, and he's like, No So these are all Urukai. These yeah, are the all Urukai. the tall ones are. Yeah. The the ones arming them are orcs. Yeah. Oh, I, I wanna eat people. Oh. <laughs> Saw a video hey, on this YouTube is what? on the internet it started with tasting man flesh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I don't want to know about that. I think this is what cannibals did when they're like rallying to, you know, get another tribe. Yeah. They, you see cannibals? Yeah. <laughs> so he tells Lurts there, like, bring me the halflings, kill everyone else. He doesn't tell him why. Yeah. <laughs> but I love the design of the Urukai, especially their armor, because mm -hmm. if you look at it, it's all armored in the front, and they're not armored at all in the back because they would never run from battle. Yeah. Which is stupid, but cool. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid that they would never run. It, it was cool that, like, it, it's, a, it's a cool idea, but it's not very practical. Yeah, mm. this is this is extended as well. Yep. Mm -hmm. What, what have I a, seen that guy? I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. Yeah. They it, all it, got a cloak. And then well, the, Frodo uses it in the third movie. Yeah. This right here is funny. What is that? Lambus Brett. What? <laughs> 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 it's like the ultimate ration yeah, yeah. Can, and it, it doesn't rot it doesn't mold yeah huh. <laughs> where's he from there that guy on the right I don't recognize him honestly you know Kevin yeah, I've seen him in a lot of British television and stuff. Uh, what? That's a neat dagger. I like that. It's really cool. These boats are cool. Like in the book, they're they, they're extremely light, so you can carry them easily across land and stuff. That did not look like Sean Bean right there. <laughs> But yeah, the the gifts are, are well are extended edition versions too. Mm -hmm. So he gets his new bow. Uh, is it just a lot better? What's the guy's name? Uh, Celeborn. Celeborn. They get some little knives the or name little daggers. Is, uh, Martin Chikostas. Oh yeah, he's in fucking Into the Badlands, dude. He's a cool. badass. I love Sam here. I want it. Okay. <gasps> Jesus, Aaron. <laughs> Multiple times Harry Potter keeps coming up for me. <laughs> she just looks at him. <laughs> this is such an RPG part, you know, you get yeah. stuff. I love this. Nothing. Dang. 
get my ass game. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> He's embarrassed, so he walks away. He said that to an elf. <laughs> like a necklace or some shit. Uh, yeah, but Galadriel, like, pretty much kind of like the devil of this world, once asked her for three strands of hair, and she refused them. You know, because she has like this golden, amazing hair. And then, you know, that'll tie in with uh, Gimli's thing here. But I, I just, I love, I love it because I know, I know Legless knows that story. So whenever Gimli tells him, you see this look on his face like, I can't believe she did that to <laughs> <laughs> Was she give hair? Yeah. So Elendil is the father that died, and then Isildur picked up his father's broken mm-hmm. sword and cut the ring. So when they say in Elendil, that's what they're talking about. They got to do these long scenes in Elvish, man. It's got to be hard. Yeah, like to a like line, emote, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, in the theatrical version, this was the only one we saw of the gift giving. Yeah. Because it's the only thing that comes back, (laughs) really. What's that? The light of Erendil. It's light of a star that was captured. It's a glow stick. Okay. It's pretty much a glow stick. What did everyone else get? Uh, So, Aragorn didn't really get anything. No, uh, because he already has this great gift. The two hobbits got. Uh, daggers. daggers. Sam got elven rope. Uh, Legolas was a new, a new bow, a uh, better okay. bow, like a long bow, and then Gimli here. I've taken my worst wound. <laughs> he was smitten, man. Yeah. <laughs> and the look that Legolas gives, I love. <laughs> and you don't, you don't really read into that unless you know the story. But like this guy was greedy and asked for three. Yeah. She, Gimli asked for one. She gave him three, like <laughs> almost to spite the devil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is a lot more metal than what we just saw. Yeah. <laughs> His metal. Well, yeah. I can't. Imagine. I wanted to see the rest of that scene then, because like he's like, well, hmm, we do not know. Impossible. No. Yeah. No. Can I have your hair? <laughs> you know, like, well, they, they said like, you know, how are we gonna film like her going like, all right. One, uh, I got three here. Just take the three. <laughs> so yeah, we just came from, we just came from uh, Lothlorien, where you know they build their structures around trees and shit. And I these love guys this music. Just, these just guys just plow rush through, through, plow through stuff. Eric, was it you who told me the head Yurikai guy is like friends with Aragorn? Oh yeah, the. Viggo Mortensen became friends with like all the stunties. Yeah, and they do this thing when they see each other, they would headbutt each other, you know. And then uh, it was just a kind of a weird thing. But whenever they went to the premiere, and they saw he saw Sala Baker like years from shooting, the first thing he saw him and he grabbed his head and he smashed it into his. And they both had these welts <laughs> <laughs> for the premiere. But he that's said awesome. it was like this is a cool moment, you know. Yeah, it's pretty now, cool. Are you talking about the Lurch guy? Yeah, is that Sala Works. Baker? Sala Baker is Sa- Sa- Sauron. Sala Baker plays like seven different Sala roles. Sala Baker plays Sauron. And this then guy's Lurtz. Is that Lurtz? Yeah, is Lawrence Macorar. Okay, Mac okay. Uh, something. I don't mean to be mean, but they both look like giant New Zealand guys that look alike. <laughs> That's what he's from. Clever a waterman. Yep. Words of virtue. Sala Baker reminds me of Manu Bennett. Look, look, at, look at that man. Well, Manu's yeah. also. <laughs> he reminds me a lot of him. Well, I remember seeing him in the extras when Eric and I watched him. Sam. <laughs> yeah, this is the Eric. You're watching guy. me sleep yeah. again. They look pretty different than they did 20 years ago. <laughs>
So in the book, from when he leaves the Shire till he throws in the volcano, how long is that? Uh, I, I think it's like a, a little over a year. Okay. Yeah. I wonder if that was like 30 years or some no, shit. No, okay. no. No. Now we're, we're dealing with men now. Yeah. Okay. They okay. age too quickly. Okay. Yep. He doesn't trust Gondor. Yeah. He doesn't trust himself to lead in Gandalf's place. But, you know, Aragorn doesn't want it, and he doesn't think that... He doesn't think he deserves it. He doesn't think that they're much to save either, you know? They're men. They're weak. Yeah. He Looks like Sean so, being there. He's so shitty. Right so now. he's just worried about the corruption of men in general being yeah. much yeah. more than like what the elves and the hobbits and stuff can take. Men are the reason that it wasn't destroyed the first time. Yeah. This is cool. This is like an uh, leftover from the old world, but this is like the, the, like the entrance to the realm of men. Mm -hmm. It's like the Colossus thing, whatever, yeah. right? The, yeah. The yeah. Egg it's like the Statue of Lost. The really cool thing about the design for this is that you'll be able to see they quarried the stone, built into the mountain, and then had to build up. So, like, in the design, you'll see, like, these little, like, quarry marks, and you'll see where they, like, stacked and then cut into the uh, the stone. It's a pretty cool design. I love it. Right here, we'll see it. See, the, like, the, the steps? Because mm -hmm. they would just cut, and they built, and you can see the rivets of where the mountain was and where they had to build up. And who are these guys? There's ancient kings of Numenor. The, the one right. on the right is actually... Um, Elendil, right? The father. Yeah, the yeah. father. Because he's actually holding... Yeah. Uh, Narsil. Narsil, yeah. I like the little detail. They have the bird, like, nests, like, in its eye or something. This really sells the scale. Oh, that's not good. They're good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Aragorn knows what he's doing. Sometimes. <laughs> so, like, in shots like that, where it's Elijah Wood in the foreground and they had Aragorn in the back. Like a big guy? They have a guy named Tall Paul. Well, I was actually... He's, like, seven and a half feet tall, and he just wears different people costumes and walks behind him. It's interesting. You get some, in some cases, they reshoot a scene two or three different times mm -hmm. in different ways. It's the thing that sucks about this journey is, like, it takes so long to get there, and the closer you get, the worse it gets, you yeah. know? Yeah. <laughs> you can feel the Urukai breaking their way through Is nature. Elves can do that. Well, they can kind of like communicate commune with nature, like in an unconscious level. Yeah, and the Urukai are just crashing through the trees you know it's more like, like the tanks. force or something like that <coughs> where they can sense it but they don't exactly know yeah. what it is Boromir's gone we got one of those in downstairs not as good as that one that was cool <coughs> I think we're almost to the end of this already aren't we no, yep. we're getting a yeah we're more. getting close we're in the we're in the third act I remember part of this Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of people talk about like, yeah, Gandalf dies at the end of the first one, right? It's like, it's more like the end of the yeah. second act. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the middle. It's just one of those things where, like, you know, Boromir is a good dude, but like. Especially Aragorn talking to him, like having no faith in him. Yeah. He's just, he's torn apart, you know? Yeah. And he, unfortunately, picked up the ring at one point, and it got to him. Yeah. Yeah. That's what Gladiel said. He said it will destroy one by one. 
everybody, you know? It's a great way to show a character, like, fall, I think. Yeah. Oh. He's so good. Mm-hmm. I want a young Robert's Rebellion, Eddard Stark series. Yeah. <laughs> Who would play Eddard, though? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's because he's older now. This is a great shot because it's that tall dude doing it, you know? Uh. <laughs> You'd still feel him underneath you, though, wouldn't you? You would, but I think he was just surprised. He hasn't seen him do that. Yeah. And all half works. Yep. And he plays this so well. It's like getting a hit in the ground yeah. made him realize what he was doing. Uh, it would suck to cut out his good scenes from earlier because he would really yeah, look like a I jerk know. now. You really feel for him. Yeah. Like the way he felt there is like. Second, you feel sometimes after you've gotten off, you're like, what the hell am I doing? Yeah. You're like, <laughs> I didn't need to do that. I know. It's Why a, am I here? It's such a chemical thing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Why has he still got it on? Doesn't this attract people? Uh, attracts the gaze. <clears throat> Man, this is that's the a first crazy time scene. he's seen it oh. in earnest. Wasn't there some criticism about it being an eye? Some, yeah. Okay. I mean, it's referred to as the Eye of Sauron in the, the book, but... It's never described. I mean, here, it's literally an eye on top of a tower, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I, I think it looks cool. I think it looks cool, too. <clears throat> yeah. I love the way it's, like, suspended yeah. in the spires. Oh, does this used to be another tower, then? Yeah, this used to be a watchtower. Watching the river. Don't say it like that, Aragorn. <laughs> That boys choir again. Yep. Yeah. I really, I, I do like the comparison of Boromir to Aragorn here. <laughs> Why does Frodo let even, him get that close? Frodo's just like, he's desperate. He's desperate, you know. He doesn't know what to do. He wants to trust people. And I believe that he would have. Yep. But he realizes that he can't, you know? Yeah. He senses his weakness before it takes a hold of him. Yeah. Was this a smart move? It's the, it's the, only it's, move. It's the sacrifice. Yeah. Like Gladriel said, they will one by one fall, uh, you know? Except Sam. Yeah. Well, she gave a look to Sam. She did. Look, at, so I, I love this hope. shot. Yeah, he comes around the corner, and there's a <laughs> hundred dudes. <laughs> and and Eric, and that's like, the look he has on his face. It's like, all right, let's do this. Look at him. Look how bad he is. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like he's awakening as a king of Gondor for the first time. Yeah. Oh snap! I love their shield too. Like yeah, having like prong. that punchy kind of like stabby part yeah, of it. Yeah, it's great. It really comes into play later in the choreography, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Their uh, swords are interesting, too, because there's, like, other ways you could utilize that kind of hook. Yeah, they, it's just, like, a sharpened, blunt yep. it's steel just thing. Basically stamped metal, like, and as quickly can, as they can make yeah. it. And then they can, like, hook it back, too, if they wanted, you know? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about the hook sometimes. I'd never noticed what he screamed there. Elendil? Elendil, yeah. Elendil, yeah. Elendil. His, his ancestor. Oh, that's John Rhys Davis just <laughs> fucking a guy over, man. <laughs> man. This was such oh. a great level in the game. Oh, yeah. yeah. I never played the Fellowship game, I guess. Yeah. I played the second and the third. The third yeah. is two players. 
Uh, the second one is two. The, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. The third one is online. Okay, yeah, yeah. It is a good hiding spot. It is a great hiding spot. Not good enough. Drive shop. <laughs> <laughs> He's leaving. I love how aware Mary is Mary compared is, to Pippin. Yeah. But Pippin is like, he's my friend. I'm not letting him do that. Yeah. But Frodo wants to save them as much as they want to be with him. Look at it. Look at these brave hobbits. <laughs> they, all they know, they're looking for halflings, right? right? They're yeah. looking for hobbits, so. This guy's like, oh my gosh, there's hobbits over here. <laughs> Get those hobbits. Get them. People least they are know. always trying to find dwarfs and they're killing them. <laughs> they just keep killing them. They don't even care. It's working. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's working. <laughs> Legolas. Oh, I love him with his. I think his he's the most swords. capable fighter, isn't he? He has one hundred percent. Oh yeah, so okay. good. Okay, I wasn't sure if there was like a dispute between him and oh. Aragorn or Gimli or something. Well, him and Gimli are always having contests when they're when which they're I, counting. I love that between the two of them, like yeah. the relationship. That, with yeah, that. that was cool as fuck. In the second one, it was the second one, wasn't it? Yeah, second yeah. and the third. They when he's both going do down it. a shield and shit. Yeah, yeah, that's in the second one. The elephant's oh, a little oh, boy. I love here. this. This is so good. But they weren't allowed to kill him. Curse all hobbits. Oh, oh so that's good. just a cool shot. <laughs> yes, two, yes. three. I love Aragorn just four, wrestling with that one in the background. Five, <laughs> six, six shots in a, in one shot. Seven. It makes that noise. It's a great noise. Every time he shoots, like shoot. the horn of Gondor. Yep. No, do, 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 do. Of course, the horn is drawn. I love that music. Too. Ba, na, na. It's the Isengard theme, yeah. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Yeah. And it has that iron hammer in the background. It'll not be easy in all that makeup and helmets. This is all. Right. It's a tracking shot with a with a spider cam. They don't have they don't have drones like this back in yeah. like twenty years ago. You know, there's a cable. It was, it was on a, a cable. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was basically like a. Uh, oh, what oh, are those things? Where you, like get on a cable and ride <laughs> down a zip line. Jeez, look at that! They tackled that dude. They're just—they're trying to help Boromir. He came to save him. Jeez, Louise, he's brave. He's saving the hobbits, man. This is something that he can do well. He might not be able to withstand the ring, but he can do this. He can save the other hobbits. Oh man, this guy is bow and arrow. Alerts is so big. I'm glad they're all staggered left and right perfectly. Yeah. It's so great. <laughs> They're throwing those rocks so They're hard. Like Ewoks, man. I like the inverted grip he uses yeah. too. It's it's like alien almost. That arrow looks so big too. It's a it word. Is. Yeah. It's it's how arrows used to be. Otherwise, should just the go, shaft wouldn't. Memnon wouldn't be from the strong Scorpion enough. King could block it. Not an arrow like that. It's got like three times the energy that. A Memnon arrow would have. He catches him with his hands. I know, but it's so much thicker and longer. Mm. He's so angry that this man has so much strength. Oh, man, it sucks. He's trying to make up for what he just did to Frodo, you know? Yeah. He wants to prove that he's a good man. He told them to run. They've never seen this before, you know? Up. Up. I'm still fighting two arrows at him. Still kill him. Yeah. Still winning. Still winning against these alpha orcs. Warbred super orcs. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> See, in the, in the book, we just find Boromir. Like, with, and the hobbits are gone. And there's 25 corpses around him. <laughs> <laughs> he killed 25 of them. And, you know, Tolkien's not one to, like, do violence and, and fighting for the sake of it, mm -hmm. like yeah. movies generally do. But I always thought it was significant. 25, you know? So I impactful, too. I always felt like that shot right there wasn't successful because it's, it's Mary's digital head over a little person's body. I was just going to say, I thought it looked it, so it, good. It, it, I didn't think it looked good at all, really. Yeah, I was like, yeah. man, I was going. I was actually going to say, did they get a huge guy to pick him up? No, I always thought it was floating in a weird way that wasn't matching the scene. I mean, fuck me, 
because this is awesome. Yeah. But, <laughs> you know, uh, look at that. He's so look at close. All those corpses. He's like a he's like a cheater in a video game. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad you were blowing that horn. Dude, he got a sword and shield out so quick. He did. There's so many of them around. Right there, oh. Aaron. That's what. Yep. And then he uses it as a guide. <laughs> so cool. This fight really shows intention in the moveset, I thought. Yeah. Like, it looks like they're just going for it. And there's no, like, weird, you know, sword fighting in the middle, you know? <laughs> All right, so uh, right here, he really did that. Yeah, that's a real it. parry. When he throws that knife, they're like, "All right, let's try it," and he did it first time. <laughs> oh, oh this is gosh. so good. This guy's breath has to stink so bad. Uh, that's fucking cool. Gosh, Aaron Lawrence no slouch either. Bob Anderson said, "Like, I think Viggo Mortensen is the best swordsman I've ever trained." Oh man, this makes me so emotional. This part. Yeah. Like how he asked Aragorn to forgive yeah. him. Mm -hmm. Well, you see his respect through the second movie grow slightly. Yeah. He's next. <laughs> it's the first time he acknowledged it. Yeah. These next lines, man. He wants to die with his sword in his hand. It's got to be a weird relationship that Legolas has with death. Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh, this is so good. On the outside looking in. <sighs> my brother, my captain, my king. Yeah. So I, no one's called him that before. <laughs> Sean Bean always has to die and everything. I know. He's, He's so too good, good at it. Is there anything he doesn't die in? He has a few things, but... Hitman. <laughs> if you fuck when up. I, when I play. Well, I was told I couldn't rest uh, restart. No. I was lied to. <laughs> <laughs> like, Boromir is like a superhero in Gondor. Like, yeah. He he's like the best dude. He's the Thor. He's the he Thor. The yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Like people are, they'll be waiting for him, and they'll never come home. So he's the reason he was the one they sent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he went back to the boats. Yeah. And Sam knew exactly what he was trying to do. I need to think that, like, Frodo, like, I can't do this right now. And he couldn't. He like, couldn't have done it alone. He couldn't have. But, like, in this moment, he decides that he's going to. I love this moment, man. Such an Obi-Wan moment. Yeah, it is. Like, I love that ghost of Gandalf, like, reaching out, and that's, like, that's what 
he decides, no, I'm, fuck it. I'm going to do this. Mm-hmm. Fuck it. So that's, that's being told to him there. It's not like a previous thing that, that he heard or anything. He heard that. Yeah. Okay. No, that, that's that what's right. So it's, a, it's more of a memory thing. Though. Of course. Yeah. I'm not okay. saying yeah. literally a ghost, like the, the specter of the memory. It's actually kind of funny because Ian McKellen bases his performance off of clips and interviews of Professor Tolkien. Mm. So they kind of talk like he's like the ghost of Tolkien on the set. Huh. Uh. <laughs> the same goes anyway. Yep. It's it's a lot more in the book, but Sam is frightened of water. Mm-hmm. Well, even... Back in Lothlorien, when he first gets in the boat, it shakes yeah. a little bit, and he just freezes and grabs hold of it, Yeah, just seeding it a little bit more. Like, I'm afraid of water, too, because yeah. I, I can't float. I feel for Sam in this. <laughs> Wormio goes out killing 30 orcs, orakai. Sam goes out. Drowns. Drowns. <laughs> it's trying to get to a yeah. boat. I mean, if you have the imagery of, in, like, with this shot, this is the exact opposite of what happens at the crack of doom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, they, they switch places, you know? I love that. Man, the Hobbit theme is so good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, Sean Austin, so good. <laughs> yeah. Gandalf got to him, too. Yeah. Fucking toy soldiers, man. Hey, I love his office hugging. <laughs> yeah, I, I love know. it. Oh, we do that shit. I know. I'm like, I can't hug. <laughs> if they start playing his music, I'd hug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's they? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Someone. This was an eventful day. Yeah. Gollum has to be like on the other shore being like, freaking out like man that was close <laughs> uh, I was like where'd Frodo and Sam go because it was a waterfall right. so it, we just saw him put on some bracers those are Boromir's bracers and he, Aragorn will wear them for the rest of the movies yeah I, they I, have, I, I was at that detail because that's Viggo Mortensen like yeah. deciding like can I have something from him that I can keep him with me keep his memory alive yeah I love that it's so cool Viggo Morton is such a bad oh, He actually have the yeah. tree of Gondor on him. Yeah. Because he's accepted Gondor now, you know? He's like, I can be this person. Oh, okay. So they just went across the river. Yeah. yeah. Yep. On the eastern side. <clears throat> That's how I felt after... A D&D game you ran. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love the turn of the music in this. Oh, yeah. I mean, what a low point. Yeah. But then he inspires them and us. Like a king does. Like, I really feel like that man is going to hunt some work. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Something a gimme loves to do. Honestly, one of my favorite parts of any of the books is the hunt. Like, these three, mm-hmm. man, dwarf, elf, running. That's all it is, yeah. just from running. Talking about how people will sing songs about this run and shit. You know? yeah. <laughs> I love those three together, too, of Me having, too. like, here's the human, here's yeah. the dwarf, here's the elf, you know? They don't again to the end of the third, right? Not until the very end. Yeah. The fellowship breaks. My dear Sam. He was just his gardener. Yep. (laughs) Yep. (laughs) He's cutting the grass. Bit late but, for trimming the verge. But the man who has awesome fireworks asked me to look after him. Yeah. <laughs> well, in his death, you know, it's yeah. like 
the thing I told him I would do, I'm going to do. He died. Yeah. I showed this movie to my dad at this point, and he's like, that it? <laughs> dad, there's two more movies. Two more movies? <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. I'm not watching those. <laughs> <laughs> the mountain's right there. <laughs> did you ever watch it? Too? I don't think you did. <laughs> Uh, they get better and better, I think. Yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, they do. I wish I wish this series was one of those ones where he just sat down and look at this. Yeah, isn't I know. This, isn't this weird? He <laughs> might you watch the whole thing because of it. <laughs> yeah, and then I, you I, watch that's all, always the funniest part of the, the story. Yeah, it's like you end up watching it all. <laughs> I think that he'd be more open to watching it now than he was then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But anyway, all right. Well, that's uh, that's yeah. a movie. It's a long one. Yeah, yeah, it is. I feel like the next two are like they have much more. Like this one's a lot of like travel. There is. It's yeah. much more boring. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like. It's a lot of like lore and stuff I like got too. And the next yeah. two get into like we gotta get there. There's shit going down. I mean, we the, gotta fight stuff. The Battle of Helm's Deep in the second movie has still not been surpassed in my eye, and it's been 20 no. years. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really remember it too much, but yeah. I remember well, parts be, of it. You that'll know, be, that'll be fun to, watch, yeah. to rewatch. Uh, honestly, I mean, Fellowship might be my favorite to rewatch. I mean, and it is a lot slower, but I, I like the way they build the world, especially if you have read the books and mm-hmm. know the story more. I think it gets better every rewatch. Which is why I've watched it like fifty times. Well, yeah, yeah. same for me. Like, I didn't like it the first time I yeah. watched it, but the second time I absolutely loved it, and I watched the rest of them. And yeah, it's one of my Cause favorite. Because you're black series. and white, like the second time was a little better, and it went right past that little threshold. For now, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, cool thing at the end Wait, of so the Andy Circus was Gollum still. Yeah, he was. Yes, oh, okay. it was just his voice, but they had a different model. And then between the the final production for this movie and final production for the next they changed how Gollum looked they had actually for two towers had a lot of rendered out sequences like halfway through and then they changed it so that's why that model still appears in this one because most of these shots they were all a digital model mm-hmm. they didn't like have nearly any motion capture no in them, did they no motion capture wasn't really a, a thing. thing until Andy Serkis yeah. like changed it Peter Jackson I mean Peter Jackson's the one that's like there's just something about looking at him that's Gollum. This other thing, I mean, the animator's doing a good job and everything, but it's not his performance. Yeah. I need his performance. Put a camera on his fucking face. Mm-hmm. You know? And they did. And they animated it look that way. And because of that, you know, we have a whole new technology. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, I thought it was good. I thought it was good. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. a great movie, but I... I I can't wait to get to more too. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's it's because of movies like this that we have like Thanos. It's true. Uh, without what a digital did all we of the never Marvel had stuff had and, and yeah, a certain any new trilogy villain for Star Wars. Yeah. L.A. Noir. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all, oh, all yeah. of that, like Uncharted. Uh, I mean, I mean, well, Last of Us actually, The Last of Us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Planet of the Apes, all bigger. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Honestly, like this movie is like responsible for, especially if you watch the appendices of these movies because they're amazing, but. Like, I love deep diving into, like, production sometimes, you know? Oh, and this yeah. one's, like, responsible for a lot of my, like, b- up there with Star Wars, like, love for movie making and, and different stuff, you know? We, we should put the making of this on the poll. <laughs> <laughs> I would no, totally do it. It's way I, longer than the that's movie. It's way longer, though. It's, it's it like is. eight and a half hours. It's just amazing, for one film. It is amazing. It is incredible. It's amazing. I think I watched it's all so of it with cool. you. Like Find all of them. There's so many great like little stories in there and stuff. I don't know, you know how they didn't fit this movie on one Blu-ray and just all the extra stuff on a second Blu-ray. I don't Blu-ray discs only four gigs? Uh, 4.7. Something like that. I thought they were eight. Yeah, they yeah eight? they're eight. Well, DVDs are four. Are they? Eight. eight. Yeah. yeah. DVDs are four. This is eight. I think it's just because it's so damn long. In the new I mean, PS, I guess this came out a long time ago. They have like some of the Blu-rays can hold up to like twenty-four. Yeah, because yeah, some of the PS4 yeah. games now for the PS4 Pro they hold a lot yeah. more. Yeah, yeah. well, and those they still are need like to install them. The multi-layer Blu-rays and stuff too, which a lot of the readers and stuff you have to get like special Blu-ray yeah. players to actually. Play well, you got to remember too. Like the UHD. Not only does this have the movie, but this has like five commentary tracks. Yeah, and it has other stuff than just the movie too. Five commentary. Yeah. There's yeah. like there's production commentary, like production crew, directors, the directors, writers, some of the actors, the actors, actors writers, like they're all conceptual separate. artists. Yeah. So you can rewatch it with a bunch of different comedy tracks, including Blind Waves. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. We'll, well, now no people, no one knows until they get to the end of this. So they can watch it with us. Watch ours first. first. <laughs> <laughs> uh, watch, watch the end first. La- last thing I do have about the movie is at the end of the credits here. I don't remember exactly when. They start singing in Elvish, and it's them thanking the people of New Zealand. <laughs> for how they make this movie, wow. which is really cool. Really, awesome. it's like an Easter egg hidden 
and no one but the craziest Tolkien geeks will know that <laughs> the el- the elves themselves thank New Zealand for helping make this movie. Well, that's awesome. Because like it's a big deal to make this movie in New Zealand when they did. Yeah, it. really. I mean, the production like you know the industry in New Zealand was not that much, and Peter Jackson was from there, and he's like, I think I can make this movie. I think I can make it here, and he brought thousands of jobs, millions yeah. upon millions of dollars, hundreds you know? of millions of dollars for yeah. the next. 20 years yeah. into that yep. into that country. So 20 years. Well, all of this and the Hobbit. And then the Hobbit and then and you then know, ongoing Weta workshops well, yeah. is still doing movies. They worked on Marvel. Weta became the like you had, you know, ILM when it came to doing digital work and then Weta because of this became number 2 yeah. or number 1 depending on who you're asking. Hmm. You know? Like the people that worked on this were more of like they never had a production this big on anything. I mean, this is the a kind of production that you've never had before anyway. Sure. But especially having it housed and made by the people of New Zealand is, I mean, it changed like the country. Yeah. I mean, there were people that that took ships across from Texas to bring their horses to New Zealand yeah. so that they could be some of the riders of Rohan. I mean, <laughs> like... It, just crazy yeah. amounts of, of people just coming from everywhere bringing the industry. And there. the cast, they lived there for a year. Yeah. It took them a year to film the principal photography for this. Mm-hmm. Like, Ian McKellen for just three. lived there for a year. You know, he's like, it was a year of my life to make these movies. Yeah. And then they did. And then uh, they did reshoots. Every, yeah. every, this is basically for like four years, right? In a way, yeah. I mean, yeah. it took like production of all of them all together was like five years. For this series of movies, it's so funny because Peter Jackson's like at the end, he's like, "I will never do this again." <laughs> and then ten and years later, the next later. thing I do is going to be a small little tiny film. <laughs> they did King Kong. They did King yeah. Kong. <laughs> hey, I, dude, I like King Kong. I like. King I think Kong it's pretty too. good. Yeah. All right, I think we've been talking for a while. Yep. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, mm-hmm. I think the poll for the next one is it already done, or it's close, isn't it? It's very close. It's to very close. Done. We might next next time we do a commentary. I think we might be jumping into two towers. Yep. Mm-hmm. Which it's not close on the poll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so anyway. we'll be continuing yeah. in this universe. So did you it's have any more best. questions, Aaron, before we end? I'm sure I'll have time to think of more. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, guys, for joining Thank us for this commentary. Uh, vote for the next one at patreon.com slash blindwave. Yep. And check out everything over there. So we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, Bye everybody. Thank you. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and or listening to this commentary. If you want to listen to them, you can find them on iTunes, Spotify, so on and so forth, your favorite podcast feed. You can check them out on YouTube if you're listening. Also, patreon.com slash blindwave. You can vote on the next one in reactions as well. So check that out, please. Thanks, guys. Bye.